What's up, everybody? You're listening to Roundtable Wrestling Radio, episode 499. It's not the 900th episode, but still, pretty good for, for our show. Uh, it is November 15th, and yes, the world is still here. I'm Joey924, and with me from Queens of New York City. The one and only, the Byron. Also from PH Michigan. <laughs> Uh, are you okay there, Joey? This is Sean Lather. <laughs> I'm on a lot of drugs. Uh, yeah. With us as well from Chicago, Illinois. Florida, <laughs> Phoenix. What kind of drugs, Joey? <laughs> I'm not even joking. Um, <laughs> we're, we're, all going, uh, we're all going to hell, and I'm going to do it while I'm drugged up. Fuck it. Just, just um, pass it over to the, the side of the studio. The Jeez. <laughs> I wish I could, honestly. I really do. Uh, from the Bronx of New York City. The artist formerly known as O. The artist what? formerly known as What? Are, are you saying you like have no, a you ball gag? You should, you should introduce yourself as the man who wants to see Goldberg fail. Are, no, no, like no, no, one, no, no way, no way. I, I you, want, have, I you, have, you have it out for this guy. You no. Let me you, tell you something. When Goldberg almost tripped over that top rope, I was hoping he didn't. I was praying that he didn't go over. So. That wasn't a trip, man. Do you know what a trip is? He over engaged the clothesline and he almost went with the jobber. <laughs> you know, I'll give, he, uh, uh, see, that's better. That's, that's a better description. That's a better description. He didn't trip. The first time that he did the Rusev thing, that was a trip. That was a slip, I should say. All right, but is this not proving my point that this guy is rusty as fuck and he's going to just botch whatever no, match he's going to pull? It proves my point that he's overexcited. But I, I am yeah. gonna say, he, he was definitely in better shape than I thought he was gonna be. He was in, you know, pretty good shape. So he was in a hell of a lot better shape than Brock was. Brock looks like he hasn't seen the inside of a gym in a month and a fucking half. That's because that's, true. that's because when you do steroids, you don't have to go to the gym. Oh, that's the problem. He's, he cycled off, and a lot of that, you know, exogen and body fat is starting to creep by up. The way, by the way, I'm not making a joke. Uh, Brock doesn't get tested, so he can do whatever he wants. I hope you guys know that. He literally does not have to do the whole um, drug testing, the whole revolutionary drug testing ever since Benoit died. Their excuse is because he's not around as much, so they exactly. don't have to test him. He's a part timer. He doesn't have to be tested. Chances are, Undertaker doesn't have to be tested. The Rock. No, no, no. Nice guys. Well, yeah, but at are... least we know the Rock puts in the fucking work, whereas uh, Brock. We don't know that. We don't know that. Come on, uh, fucking right. No. Watch the Rock's fucking that. Instagram. Watch the Rock's like, Instagram. What, what, I know the fuck that's in the gym every goddamn day. Watch that doesn't um, mean he nah, doesn't. Uh, rock is juicing. I'm sorry. Rock yeah. is yeah. Watch, watch Fast and the Furious Seven. <laughs> yes. Did you see how huge he was? <laughs> I'm being. I'm being. Look at him when he first. If you see Fast Five to Fast Seven. Give me a fucking break, dude. That's not Jim. That's Hold not Jim. And, and also, and also, look at the Rock when he first was in the nation. Look how like much fat he has in his midsection and his chest area. He, he, he like gives you know, put it like this. Check this, check this out. Check this out. Look, look. That's check this out. Let me tell you something. You're not gonna get older and more diesel. I'm sorry, it's hard. He doesn't do anything. You're you're wrong. And I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you facts here because of the fact that he he took some titty fat out of his titty. Yeah, he did. To yeah, make his chest he got more. Did he have surgery? No, no, talk in lamest turn. He yeah, got but that's what reduction. I'm saying. If he's if he's going to do something like that, don't ever think he's not going to fucking do so just to make himself look way better. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he did that. You know, he also got on... Um, you know what's interesting? Called, uh, wait, wait. Sorry, you know what's interesting is that he just got voted the sexiest man of the year. But, yeah. but I'm not saying but I'm not saying 100% that he, that's what he's doing. I'm just saying that Oh, I'm you can never say he doesn't do it. You can never say he doesn't I'm do it. it. There, there, there's, there's, a, there's a drastic change in The Rock's body, man. Yeah, there's a drastic there, there, change. His whole face, his, his whole face every, changed. Yeah. Jawline. There's, pictures, there's pictures to prove it. Yeah. Everything changed. So there. <laughs> So me, but, but, listen, uh, he, again, he, it, doesn't mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's doing it all the time. It doesn't but, necessarily mean that he's not hit in the gym like a fucking beast. No, he definitely does that. But but let me tell you, a lot of people that do steroids hit the gym. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Uh, but that's, that's something that point, Brock bro. apparently hasn't learned, you know. No, I'm saying. That people, nah, you know what I think? Or, or I think a tanning steroids. bed, good lord. Nah, Bro Brock is not on the roids. <laughs> go to the gym is what I'm saying. A lot of people that do steroids actually still go to the gym and work out. I mean, that's people are like, well, he goes to the gym. Well, that doesn't really prove anything. Only The Rock and John Cena 
and Brock and Ryback and those guys know for sure. That's all I can say. But Ryback still hasn't pe- t- tested positive yet, but okay. Actually, no, Ryback has admitted it, though. Ryback has actually admitted it, that uh, he was addicted to um, THC or whatever it was. I mean, I'm um, sorry. The, whatever the hormone growth thing is no, called. You yeah. had it right. Human, yeah, human uh, growth hormone. Yeah, he, he said he was addicted he, to H, HGC. There you go. That's what it is. I was thinking about weed. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Ryback has admitted it. So, you know, I remember when we had debates about Ryback. Oh, he's, he, he's, no, he's not on steroids. Well, he admitted it. It's all about who admits it, you know. Rock is never, ever, ever, looking, ever going to admit that. Unless he, his career takes a nosedive like a motherfucker, which doesn't right. seem like because he's the sexiest man. And by the way, not the only piece of news with, involving The Rock, because believe it or not, and don't say it can't happen because we've learned our lesson on that. Yeah. But The Rock is actually contemplating running for president in 2020. For real. Well, so is and Jesse Ventura, great. but... That's, that just uh, shows you that anybody with the money and a following... You would destroy Jesse Ventura in that regard. Well, Jesse Ventura has been the big rumor for the Libertarian candidate. So we could see Jesse, Donald Trump, and The Rock, a triple threat match of WWE Hall of Famers. How we could see Ron Perlman in that goddamn thing. No boys talking about running. You got to understand, like, Donald Trump winning changes everything for the rest. Don't forget of, Kanye West. Right? For the rest of, exactly. Honestly, it changes everything for the rest of humanity in terms of going forward in terms of presidents. We, we are not no longer uh, abided by Abraham Lincoln's and Bush's and, you know, Clinton's. You know, now it's a whole new ball game, and now everybody's going to play. <laughs> so, The Rock... Yeah, this definitely proves it. It's a joke. The Rock, the rock um, if he runs, man, I, I would really be like, I think he could take it. Because just the popularity alone and his yeah. swagger, he would be like a, he would be like a jacked up Barack Obama. Exactly, a younger Obama, exactly. Exactly, he would have the same swag, the same, you know, and that's why people are saying that, you know, Hillary um, didn't win because she didn't have the swag of Obama. No, no, no. no. I'm saying people are saying that. I'm, yeah, I don't know. That's the first time I've heard that statement. It, it's mostly because yeah. she was a terrible human being, but hey. Really? A terrible human being? Yeah, I mean, she, she didn't really inspire people like Donald Trump did. The people Donald Trump inspired are people I would never want to talk to in my life, but that's another story <laughs> altogether. But, I mean, but, his entire statement was, make America great again, compared to Hillary saying, I'm with her. What? <laughs> yeah, but Hillary was right. America was already great, so I don't understand. I mean, maybe to racist, America wasn't great, <laughs> because we had a black president for eight years. I didn't get a chance to talk about this shit, but... I don't really care about all that stuff, but this, okay. this time around, I, I kind of got into it because of the fact that, um, just like everybody else, we all worried about who the fuck is going to run because it's either going to be stupid Hillary or stupid Donald Trump. It's one of the two, but the worst one is, is Donald Trump. So I had a fucking feeling already from the get-go that he was going to take that shit. So I stayed up till like three in the morning watching the dumb shit. Then they were like announcing that. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna announce the winner uh, tomorrow, and I'm like, what? Did they what do you mean tomorrow? Yeah, they said they were gonna because they didn't have enough uh, votes in, they didn't have everything ready, and this and that. Oh. There was people waiting for Hillary Clinton at uh, yeah, Jabison. She never even showed up, which I think is fucked up. A lot of people were, were pissed off at that. Yeah, but <laughs> I you, think, you you think if Hillary would have won, that Donald would showed up? I, I don't. I don't know. But this the is the this rules is are why, different. This the is, rules are different now. <laughs> but this is why I'm telling I, I, you that. Listen, man, I tapped out at 12:30 a.m. Man, I think I, Hillary. I, I, should, I think Hillary should have attacked Donald Trump during his speech. <laughs> well, I, well, listen. I, I, that's, why, that's why. That's why I have. You know? th- this is why I'm saying both of them are no good. Yes, Hillary has more experience because she's she's been uh, with Obama back more, to, more you know, the scene and all that more, shit. But does fit. it mean? Right. But does it mean? She was going to fucking do all, all the best things that we all want and this and that because she's also done a lot of fucked up things. I so, disagree with that. I, I, when people say that, you know, it's two bad choices. No, there's a clear good choice and a clear bad choice. Yeah, but they're both. No. I don't even. First of all, I don't know how the fuck 
Donald Trump got into this front. I don't know how he got this I, I, far. I think, he did, for, I think he did it for giggles at first. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. And then he realized, and then he realized, Yo, oh Byron, shit, you know. Yo, Byron, but here's like, here's another just... thing. Here's another thing. Any if, if fucking Donald Trump could fucking run, any fucking body can run for the fucking. Yo Byron. President. Yo Byron. Just like, like last week, what I said, just like I what? said last week. You remember when there was a, a runner up with a little kid called These Nuts? Like that's when you knew it was a joke. It was presidential <laughs> yeah. race. <laughs> I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm not trying to harp on that, but I mean, when I heard it and they actually put it on the news, it was like, okay, this is a joke. <laughs> no, but, this is, this is how, but this is how fucked up this whole shit is. It just, it's just, it's just pure fucked up. You cannot fucking ever, like, go back. I don't think this ever will happen again, honestly, because I think Donald Trump is just one of a kind. No, I, you know? no, I just see that. That I disagree with too. I, I disagree. With, I, I think, I think Trump doing this, winning, changes we'll spark everything. More guys. It, 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 absolutely, <laughs> <It'll be like laughs> <that>. absolutely. <laughs> they need to change it. If this is, if, if they need to change things, man, because it just yeah. doesn't make any sense. Wait, that this wait, guy got this. Like I said, I, I, we're not going to talk about this any further. But, but like I said last week, um, it's not only that Donald Trump won. The Senate is Republican, and also the House. That is the worst part of the situation. It's not only Donald Trump. Right, it's right, right. that he has everything now in control. And by the way, if he sets up certain Supreme Court justices, he's going to set up uh, the way things are run even long after he's gone. That's and power you know, that you can't buy. And you know and you know that this guy already has brick walls. <laughs> yeah. Like oh, no. he has the bricks ready. Like he has like two two thousand bricks ready to be, be set and that's up. That's my that's my point. Donald was a clear deplorable human being to be running for president. Uh, Hillary, you can say what you want about. Also, it. And the and the worst thing was the the email thing, which again, uh, what the. <laughs> but again, listen, I mean the we, fact that every person that ever listen, talked poorly also, about Hillary Clinton ended up missing and dead. That I mean that's kind of a big deal too. But okay. Conspiracy theories. That's not conspiracy theories as much. Say, I mean, that let, does seem to happen let, a lot. Let's say, let's say that. Let's say that you are accurate about that. Still, I know what I saw with my eyes and with my ears, and nothing that Hillary did compares to what Trump did during this it, entire campaign. Fun <laughs> trivia about this one for all the female listeners and probably Laura as well. Of course, <laughs> everyone knows. I don't know if Laura up, knows please. this already. That's why I said I don't, probably Laura as well. You said female listeners and Laura. <laughs> what are you trying to say about Laura? Because Laura may already know this information. Oh, oh. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah. <laughs> as we all know about the whole grab her by the pussy story and the whole sexual harassment things going on with Donald Trump. Yeah. Even with that, Donald Trump received. 42% of the female voters to Hillary Clinton's 54% of the female voters. I know. I know. And that's actually, for Hillary, that's less women voted for Hillary by percentage I, than Barack Obama. All right, a bunch of gold diggers. <laughs> but can, I, but can I just say something about that? What's interesting about that is, is that now it has started a trend where people are legitimately, I'm not saying a joke, I'm saying legitimately because Trump won, they feel like now we could grab people by the pussy. I don't know if you know that this is starting. <laughs> It, it's it's getting to the point of, of ridiculousness. And and that's the problem right there with the fact that Trump won. <laughs> Everything that he said and did is now rewarded. And mm -hmm. it's also now given the people the idea that, hey, he said all these things and he won the presidency. So it might not be so bad to grab somebody by the pussy. <laughs> you know? Well, you know, you know what's and, crazy and so about this? Somebody ends up with a broken fucking nose and so, and so help me God. But, but the president said it was okay. You know what's you, crazy? You understand the point of that? You understand the the depths of that? <laughs> oh, I know. Well, Obama, Obama's well, Obama's wife talked about that when she uh, did that long fucking thirty yeah. minute speech. She didn't say his name, but she pretty much said, you know, the kids are watching this and they're being exactly uh, taught how to be like this this guy. A bully, you know? a, so bully a bully won the White House. A bully. And 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 he, there, there's a lot of young kids that they're growing up to. To have this guy for the next four years, and who the fuck knows? Maybe eight years. We don't fucking know. All I know is that that's all I know. People that are worried about their parents getting deported and their kids getting deported. I mean, seriously. And that's gonna happen. He already it said is, it in that interview that he gave. He said that the, the people that are gonna go away, yeah, the people that are gonna go away, are pretty much the criminals. That any kind of fucking history you have, that and you're you're like a Mexican but, or for any <laughs> any kind of fucking, you're not from here. You're yeah. going. 
<laughs> so can, be ready. Can, can, can I just say? Me. Can I just say? I do agree with. And yes, I'm going to say it. I do agree with uh, Trump on the fact of letting anybody in the country nilly dilly is a bad right. idea. That I agree with. Is, I now, I, I don't agree with the deportation part, but when you let Muslims into the country at will, uh, especially when you have agendas, uh, I'm sorry, that, that, that's that got to stop. And I agree with him dude, 100%. We gotta, we've also got to protect this country. We can't just be, uh, just I'm because saying, we're I'm being just, nice. I'm not saying all, all Muslims, but let's face it, we have to start vetting some serious uh, people there because it's... Uh, look what happened in 9-11. Dude, does that mean serious? That's uh, a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? Are you? John, yeah. John's just sick of hearing it, and yeah. I, I'm kind of the same way. I'm I'm legit. I'm at the point where I'm laughing at a lot of the shit that's just coming <laughs> up because in, in what's hilarious, what's the most hilarious about the best thing that's come from this entire fucking and let, let's call it for what it is. It's it's bullshit. Besides because, it. <laughs> but. You know, the best thing has come from it is uh, the Joe Biden, Obama memes that have hit yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I'm that's dying true. laughing at a lot of these. These are these are terrific. I personally like mine about, you know, the Bush, do you miss me yet? Because it's easy to say Obama, do you miss me? Because people like Obama. But when you put Bush up there, it's like, hmm, you know, people are thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't think I can no, say I do miss how- Bush. <laughs> I, I'm How sorry. Crazy. I will take Bush 30 times over Donald Trump. How crazy is this that uh, we have issues with Russia, right? And this uh, guy... Kind of. He's, oh, and wait, wait. Right. So, does, so does Hulk Hogan. No, we have issues with them. We've had issues with them for a while. Maybe not major issues, but we've had little tensions with them. But since this guy became president, <laughs> the president from Russia actually <laughs> was happy about this shit. Yeah, and they it. called each other and they were like, oh yeah, they were chit-chatting on the phone. Yeah. Listen, man, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. You know, yeah, a, lot no, people, hold you know on, a lot of people. But you know what the funniest thing about that is? Wait, wait. Oh, you know what the funniest thing about that is? Is that during every single debate, the three debates, Trump vehemently said, "I don't know Putin. I don't know this guy Putin. <laughs> <laughs> We're not best friends. We're not." Friends. And I'm like, dude, are you serious? We know you know Putin. <laughs> like, stop lying, Machka. And now it's being proven, but. <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling you, I, there's so much craziness that's going to come out of this that people don't really... It hasn't set in yet. And people the, the, and people need to stop. One thing that people need to stop for real is, is protesting because that's not going to change anything. That's not going to change anything. I actually agree with that. Because he's already... No, yeah, he's, he's, we had a protest it, here it, on the campus of Central Michigan University. It, and it, it, literally, it was the stupidest protest just because they decided to do it for an hour. And at the end, they're like, that concludes our protest for this evening. Yeah. <laughs> people, people really need no, to but you know, but that. You know what's bad about the protest is that people are actually literally getting hurt from these protests, right? Yeah. So it, going out there, people are, like this woman gets pulled out of her car, gets beaten, right? Because she, she voted for Trump or whatever. She's white. That, that That's nonsense, all right? That's pure, unadulterated nonsense. Even if Trump won and she voted, who cares? You don't beat somebody up in the fucking street for that. Come on, man. And that's what protests it's, are leading to, by the way. And that's Machka. why it's got stuff. Yeah, it's definitely a pointless, pointless thing because, pointless. like I said, he's already going into the won. White House. People. He won. No matter what, that's not going to change. It's and the, la- and the last thing I'm going to say, by the way, about this is uh, two things. Number one, you saw, I don't know if you saw when Trump <laughs> met Obama in the White House. I saw it. Uh, Awkward. But you can look at it on both of their faces. Number one, Obama had a face like, oh, God, this is real. And number two, Trump actually, I think, realized for the first time that this is real. I think when he was sitting there, he was like, holy shit, I'm the president of the United States. (laughs) Like, 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 honestly, look at it. Look at Look at their faces. The greatest thing has come from this is that Trump is starting to ask for help from those who've already been there because he had no fucking clue what the hell he was walking into. Yeah, like Hillary. He's going to have Hillary fucking help him. Exactly. But listen, check this out. If you guys God, are not from New not. York, you got to see I hope so. chaos. Listen, if you got to see the chaos because I, I go to my head. I'm in my head every fucking day almost. You got to see the chaos that's in the city. First of all, you have a no flying zone now around Trump's building. Yeah, you can't you can't even go there. You can't, you can't go, go the near that building. It's so fucking ridiculous. 
The traffic is insane. You know how many People times, are- by the way, you know how many times I went to that building when, when America's Got Talent was over there? Every single time. <laughs> I, I used to go to that building because that's where they filmed Apprentice. And now you can't even get on the sidewalk of that building. You can't do nothing. Like, it's ridiculous, man. This has become now... This is the and White House. By the way, that's, think about the way, it, that's but, smack down in the Fifth Avenue. Imagine yeah. closing the entire block for for until he gets inaugurated. That's crazy traffic in and out of itself, especially that area because there's certain that little area has one ways that you can't. You know, you, there's no two way streets. It's, it's it's unbelievable. And the last thing I'm going to say is that again, like I said last week, if Hillary would have won, everybody else would be doing. You know what this side is doing right now? Eh, so, probably not. No, I, I guarantee you. No, that it, it, it would happen. It, it, it would be the same. It would have been worse. It's all over again. It would have been worse. So my point is, is that listen, we don't like it, but Trump won, and he's the president. And I do agree with the fact, like a lot of people, Howard Stern, uh, countless, uh, the guy from CBS that does the, I can't remember his name, Stephen Colbert, uh, John Stewart, everybody saying, you know. We elected, they elected the president. We have to respect that, and that's it. We cannot lose our minds because we didn't win this year. You know, we, we had it good for eight years. People are now, like I, I said it weeks ago, people are going to love a black guy now. People thought it was the worst thing in the world when a black guy got elected, but now it's now, now it really is not the worst thing. <laughs> and, and, but now with, with you know, we have to... I accept to, it, man. I accept it. Out, yeah. We're, we're, we have to deal with what reality is in front of us, okay? Exactly. So, here's the situation. It. Instead of being complete and total assholes to one another, Please. actually, if you find, if you see somebody that's actually being freaking threatened, if you see somebody right. that's being attacked, right. for the love of fuck, do something about it. And Don't stand there with your fucking phone recording shit. Do something about it. Yeah, that's that. You know, and by the way, that that applies to everything with the phones. You know, uh, you know, not just the protest or catching something on on film, but people who stand by and record things, bad things that are happening. It, it oh doesn't God, have to be a protest. Crazy. It's just the stupidest thing in the world. And then they had the nerve to post it, and I'm wondering the entire time, every single time, why didn't you do something? <laughs> I mean, literally, why didn't you put the phone down? <laughs> it's actually fucking helped this person. You know. But it is it is what it is. So I, I accept it, man. You know, I, we have I accept to. It too. I accepted it a long time ago. I accepted it way before he got elected. <laughs> what I what I think what I think now. I'm not saying. Listen, Trump is still going to do a lot of the things he did say he's going to do, and that's bad, obviously. But I do think that he should, whenever he does his first speech, I don't know when that is. He needs to. He need actually before he even does his first speech, he should he should get on the air and take the opportunity to tell people, you know, to calm down. As a president, he needs to he start did. getting. Wait, he has been saying that he though. Oh yes. He did it on the 20, yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. He did it on the 2020 uh, interview. Oh, did yeah. he? He He's actually been... looked at the camera and said, "People need to stop doing what they're doing. All that violence, oh, all okay, the protests." That's good. That's good though. Yeah, he he actually said, I let, let me look at this camera." <laughs> with his orange face. Yeah, he has to. He has to start getting presidential now because it's serious, you know. Like, and I think that's a good thing. I really do. I think that's actually a good thing. He needs to do that, and Obama needs to do it too, because I at least Obama listen. has done it too. Yeah, I mean, they'll listen to him. They'll listen to him. Uh, they haven't so far. I know. I mean. But but I'm saying it'll sink in a little bit more. Uh, on to uh, Survivor Series. You know, this um, Raw SmackDown. Uh, this whole week has felt like WrestleMania season for me. I, I, I'm like I feel like I'm 12 years old because I'm actually genuinely excited about this entire situation. The whole Survivor Series card is awesome to me. I think it's one of the best buildups of years, decades maybe, of, uh, in terms of Survivor Series, and I've enjoyed every single second of it. Well, one thing that I like about the whole uh, this whole brand split at this point is because now now it feels like there is a split between the two. Like yeah. these guys that came on to Raw, really, really look like guys from SmackDown. Yeah, in main Raw. And I like, and I like the way they did that too. Yeah, yeah was, the ending was, was the, one of the best endings. One of the what's best endings. That's going to was over. It's gonna be right back to normal. Yeah, yeah, I'm, but I'm saying we, we, we get. This, yeah, but we get this. I mean, no, one, I'm excited for too. We're getting. We're at least getting this exactly. Yeah, if we get it once a year in Raw versus SmackDown, that's good. But you see, they've been. 
they haven't been together they haven't done all that yeah, all of a sudden hey that guy's there every week or whatever the fuck it is they kind of stayed away from that shit which is good this yeah. is why it felt it felt good yeah. seeing these guys I, all I thought it was really really well done yeah I like the way that they came from the crowd you know uh that they had the smackdown shirts you know that I, I like that I like that whole thing and by the way you know I said this last week um I know people have their thoughts about the Undertaker but I was thinking about this you know 26 years ago this month is when the Undertaker became Undertaker you know he was of course mm-hmm. me mean Mark Callis in WCW but 1990 was when he became the Undertaker I was 12 years old when the Undertaker debuted I'm 38 years old right now and he you know comes out tonight um, and I thought he actually, out of a lot of his appearances for the last couple of years, have been really pointless, have been nonsense, you know, sometimes, uh, with the exception of building a WrestleMania match. Um, but I thought what he did tonight was actually really cool. I, I like the fact that he came down, gave a little pep talk. People, re- you know, yeah. well, everybody everybody stopped what they were doing. If you notice, he actually, he actually looked pretty good. I mean, I don't know because of a hat or whatever, but he actually didn't look as you know drawn down and washed up as he did. He didn't. He didn't, he wasn't uh, talking uh, slow, you know, like the like he's been doing the last couple of years. So, he like a little bit of like a badass Undertaker. Not you to know? mention the fact that he kind of mentioned he's going to be not wrestling once a year. He's going to go back to maybe a more closer to a full time schedule. Yeah, I, that's. Thank you for reminding me. He brought up the fact that. Let me, that me, let me ask you a question. Did you think that Undertaker? Did you think that Undertaker was going to be like the fifth guy? Like Shane was going to give him a spot because that's what I thought was going to be the announcement. No. I did. I thought I thought Undertaker went out there and was going to tell Shane, "That's my spot." That's what I thought. I didn't think Shane was going to give it to him. <laughs> I thought he was just going to take it, you know, because what is Shane going to do? Say no, you know. <laughs> He's the Undertaker, for God's sakes. So uh, I, I really did make that. I thought, you know. Well, I, I, I was going to say, right there you have your setup. You have what? your setup for, for Shane Taker. Shane Taker, too. Oh, God. No, God. Well, look, look, at, look at the result. Look at what look at what Taker said. Look what? at the first thing he fucking did when he, he went out there. He it got pumped. to that ring, and it was a straight stare down with Shane and said, whoever loses this match, you will deal with the dead man. Yeah, but he, but he, but he also complimented Shane and gave him big ups. Yeah, I, I listen, man. Everybody, nobody wants to see that match again. I don't even think the office wants to see it. I don't I, think we're gonna. I, to I, I didn't want to see it the first time. Yeah, we we're not gonna see this match. I I, I stuck to my guns around that time. I didn't want to. Come Bless you. Here. I didn't want to see it, and I was right because the match wasn't all that. And to do a sequel, no. And I also vehemently, by the way, don't want to see Brock and Shane either. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Yeah, you telling me? Let's say, let's say Goldberg gets uh, destroyed, right? Or not destroyed, but loses. Okay, so Goldberg, this massive tank of a man, can't stop Brock, but Shane is. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Like that's not that's not believable. The reason why people are so into Goldberg and Lesnar, why it's getting the reactions, is because people can honestly believe that this guy could stand up to Lesnar. There's not a lot of guys that can walk down the aisle and stand in front of Brock and everybody's like, yeah, that guy has a chance. You know, but Goldberg is, you know, people are like, he has kind of a chance. But Shane is going to be the, the one that's going to take him down? That's ridiculous. You got to keep it reality, man. And I know it's hard to say that because Randy Orton's eyes are glowing, but... <laughs> I'm serious. Imagine... Imagine Orton is, <coughs> is filming the television show The Shooter with Ryan Phillippe, and in, in a scene where it's supposed to be intense, where he's torturing him, his eyes glow. It wouldn't fit. People would people would get online and be like, what the hell kind of ridiculous show is this? It has to work within the confines and the context of the show. Walter White, as great as he was at making drugs, didn't have people's eyes glow. <laughs> you know? And believe me, that blue magic was awesome. <laughs> Randy Orton's got to, you know, they got to stop the silliness with with that. You know, you gotta, you gotta work within the confines. People have to buy that. Yeah, Shane will will tough it out. Yeah, he'll take Brock Lesnar's suplexes, but he's not. We're not gonna believe that Shane's gonna beat Brock Lesnar, especially after well, Lesnar beat Undertaker and Goldberg and all these guys. Come on. It's almost impossible to book anyone against Brock Lesnar, though. I mean, there is Why no one in the WWE that could face him. But you know what? You know what made that segment even more better is 
I'm not saying that Brock was trying to like sell that he was scared of Goldberg, but he put that concern face. Huh? You know what I mean? That that, that kind of made Goldberg just a little bit more over. I mean, I, I know it's not much, but I felt like that you know little thing that gave Goldberg I, a little I, bit I, more. I agree. Huh? You, you know, I agree with you. You know, you know what? That was the same thing he did when he when he fought him originally. The buildup was he was scared of Goldberg. He was like kind of like concerned, and he did it again. It kind of remind me of like you know yeah. 03 or whatever, whatever it was. You know, you know what I like that is because when Goldberg was standing there, and then when he started, um, you know, tossing around the security guards, Brock was laughing on the apron. At that part, he was laughing because he got to Goldberg, you know, or Paul Heyman got to Goldberg. But then when Goldberg ripped his shirt off and then told him to get in the ring, that's when, you know, that's when he started the concern face. He was like, oh. Yeah, so I, that was cool. That was cool. I, I thought that was well done. And I know people are like, well, they should have touched. This is one of those situations where I don't think they should have. I think you nah, save that for good. the pay-per-view. You save it for the pay-per-view. Because exactly. this, makes it, this makes it a must-buy you know, again, something you won't see the next night on Raw or a week from now or in the next pay per view. No, you have to watch Survivor Series to see this. Well, and maybe. What do you mean? Maybe you'll see it the, next, the following night. Dreamer. Yeah, Brock's going to wrestle on Raw. <laughs> oh, you never know. Come on, what are you talking about? You you don't think that he's, he, he's capable of wrestling on Raw? I mean, no. he has wrestled on Raw before. But when, when Let not, me ask that question. He's come back? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. In all seriousness, I'm not trying to be funny or keep harping on the old Goldberg. Do you really think this match is going to go as smooth? Do you think this match is going to go as smooth as y'all want it to go? No. Because let's be honest. No. Goldberg. <laughs> no. Go, listen, listen, listen. Wait, 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 listen to me. When G- Goldberg, without the leather jacket, was sweating up a storm, okay? Without the leather okay. jacket, just walking down the aisle, he was sweating for free. In, oh in fairness, is, in fairness, yeah, innocent, he's gonna innocent, blow up. innocent. He's gonna blow the up man was just in a bed of sparks on him before he walked out there. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Can I? Can, wait, wait, can I? Wait, wait. Goldberg? Also, if you are ever under those studio light, under the lighting yeah. that they have, it is fucking hot. Yeah, I, I, uh, I just, that, that's a, that's another good point because I've been there and it, it's hot for us. I got a feeling he's gonna blow up. I feel like he's gonna blow he's up. Not here in the studio. Rock's gonna, gonna blow up before he does. Nah, I doubt it. I don't think Rock. By the way, this is bullshit. This is... Rock's blown up every fucking match he's had yeah, this year. I, I, that's I, true. I, I, wait, I, I, wait, I, I, wait. Let me just. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. I, I, I don't think not not to a not to an incredible degree. No, but he blows up. Yes, Brock blows up, but that's after like a couple suplexes. Goldberg blew up. Are you up talking about, about wait, wait, are you talking about wait, 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 are you talking about him sweating? No. He's sweating. I, I feel like he's going to gas. I feel like Goldberg's going to gas before Because uh, I've Brock. never Def- seen I, I've never seen Brock huffing and puffing. I, I've seen him. That's true. Yeah, I've seen him. Right, yeah. I sweat, I, I've wait, seen let, just, let me I'm just huffing. read. Jim Ross did an interview with Goldberg and Goldberg actually talked about that very thing. Yeah, he talked about it on ESPN too. What did oh, he did say? <laughs> yeah. When he said, "I know I fell, but you know, hey, I haven't been in the ring for twelve years." No, no, not, not <laughs> that. Know. I'm talking about the blowing up. Um, what did he say? I, I didn't see that. Either. Well, one of the things he said, he said, um, "I would love to be the Goldberg of old, but I'm not." He says, "I'm twelve years older. I'm grayer, and um, instead of being the Goldberg of old, I'm an old Goldberg." But he says, I've been training in MMA for the last 12 years. My cardio is better than it was when I was in the NFL, WCW, and WWE. Now, I want to point out that he also says, no, you're, I'm not going to go in there and wrestle. I mean, um, it's not going to look stylistically great. But he said, the one thing I will dispute anybody on is my cardio. My car, which, by the way, in case people don't know what that means, cardio is blowing up. Cardio is being able to with, withstand and take a lot and, and still have your air and all that. Ric Flair, the master of cardio, uh, because of the one-hour matches, Dusty Rhodes. You know, if you looked at Dusty Rhodes, you would think he would be blowing up before he got to the ring. That guy did sixty-minute, sometimes ninety-minute matches. How Kevin so, Owens. So Goldberg made a point to say that, no, he's not going to go in there and it's not going to look like it used to. But he did say very vehemently that, no, the one thing he said, I've been training in MMA for 12 years. My, he said my stand-up game is better than anyone's in that company. 
He actually said that. Can so, I say something? Listen, I, 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 as far as I know, him saying that it's not gonna, he's not going to be the same guy, I think he is going to be the same guy. I'm going to tell you why. If you saw how he approached all those fake rental cops yeah. and how he didn't know what he would like, who to throw out next, and he was he did exactly his the same exact move <clears throat> from 12 years ago when right. he was in the ring, clueless on no, who. No. Hit yeah, but that's those are just clotheslines. We're talking about yeah. military presses and all these high impact moves. That's what I'm saying. Regardless, that. regardless, it, the, his movements alone, what I saw in that ring, reminded me of 12 years ago how he was in that ring. Same way. Is exactly. it, you see him? He's all over the place. He's too intense. <coughs> He's like, oh, oh, oh. yeah. And, and by the way, that's that's another reason for the slip and also for the rope uh, for almost going exactly. over the rope. It's the excitement. Oh, it's not. It's not necessarily that he doesn't know what he's doing. It, so. Right <laughs> for the Royal Rumble. He's too intense. He's too intense, man. He's, he's he too intense. Like yeah, and, but, but 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 Byron, that but that kind of thing warrants this kind of match. Right. right and also, I, I wish I wish Goldberg would stop the smiling. Like you know how he does that little smile after he you know Brock left. I I don't know. I just feel like he needs to be serious and act like he's you know he's ready to kick ass. Not that smiling at the you know the, the crowd and waving. He like was. Goldberg. When Paul Heyman talked about his son say calling Brock daddy, he got intense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, honestly, even I was Goldberg's... gonna say it was nice to actually see Brock show a little bit of fucking emotion last night. Yeah, it was cool. What if? What if? It, let me ask you. What if? You, what if it was Roman Reigns in there and they said something about his, his daughter? What do you think he would have done? Smiled. He would have like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. smiled and looked at everybody. He would, have, he would have not done what Goldberg did. <laughs> he would have Goldberg. called Brock Lesnar Tatey Chops. By the way, that's why Goldberg getting the massive pops that he's getting because he's saying, you know, he's he's doing non PG things. <laughs> even Paul, I'm even Paul Heyman, even Paul Heyman was like, you're, what, "What you're saying in front of your son is deploy." He didn't get it out, but that's what he was gonna say. What you're saying is you're you're saying despicable things, you know, like ass and all that stuff, and uh, you know that's why people have gotten behind this a lot more than people think. And I'm telling you right now, I'm going on the record and saying Goldberg will not be booed out of the ring, out of the arena, excuse me, this Sunday. I'm telling you, he but might. Go he might. So remember here. You're gonna hear louder Suplex City chants than Goldberg chants. I, no, I but yeah. you know why? He might get booed out because he did put Bret Hart on the show. The Canadians always, you know how they are. They, they, I just they're hurt forever. What's his last but, but we also know the current attention span of the, uh, of the, uh, yeah. the modern wrestling fan. <laughs> Yes, yeah, they got the, their, their attention network. span of constantly, last, their attention span of constantly oh, booing on, Brett, on, on, Shawn Michaels on, for twenty right. years. Plus the fact is, and this is brought up numerous times in this show, the man claims Canada as his home now. And hold on, and let, let me say this one thing. Let me make this one he hasn't said it on TV, and there's a reason why he hasn't said he it. He has said it on TV. TV. Um, Not in WWE. On, and also, Laura, just in case you don't know, but like under the Goldberg session of the network, they got the match when he injured Bret Hart. And it, and it actually labels it the match that he injures Bret Hart. So I don't think it's going to be much of a memory, you know, loss well, for the fans. What happens come Sunday? Sunday. There's always a network in there. <laughs> you're, really, you're really telling me that they're going to boo Goldberg because he injured Bret? No. Well, look, how, 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 long, like how, long had they, how long were they on the case? That's a better, so that's a better, that's a better reason. I, I agree with all on, on the reason. I think if what they mean? boo him, it's because they like Brock more, not because of Bret. I don't know. No, no. But th- here's the thing. You know how... I just know that Canadians they they looked up to Bret Hart so much. That was yeah, their hero. Yeah. That was their guy. It's like it's like Conor McGregor that, but that, went to it, I, Ireland. What? What is but that to boot? But, that, but, but, that, but, but it's, things it's, are so different time. now, Byron. Things are not. The, I know. The, I know. It's things not are the different. whole Canadian. If you remember that time period of Raw, where they yeah. would go to Canada and it was upside down, and then they would come back. You know, it's not. It's not yeah, like yeah, it's still know, that though. Like, I mean, what? they no. still cheer no. for the heels no. now and boo for the faces. That's why JBL is always like, "It's bizarre." Listen, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, if you haven't noticed Canadian <laughs> but fans, is, are old, but, are the, but you gotta understand, this is a different situation. You're talking about a guy who's not wrestling one match. But what I'm saying is the Canadian fans are very, like, if they want to let you hear it, they'll let you hear it. So if one person chants this, who the fuck knows? The whole arena might start fucking following one person. I think it's going to be very split at best, uh, and I'm sticking with that. At best, I don't be care very... how it turns out. I just, not, I just want to hear some some kind of fucking. I just oh, want to hear some kind of reaction. <laughs> that that'll be the biggest reaction of the night. I guarantee that. That'll be the biggest reaction of the entire oh, yeah, night. Yeah, for sure. 
I think the crowd's gonna be red hot for that match. Exactly, they're gonna be re- they're gonna be. But, like I, but I honestly don't think they're gonna close the night. I think it's gonna be Raw versus SmackDown. Um, I agree. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. I agree. I don't think uh, Goldberg and Brock is gonna end that match. And, I, and, and like physical. I said, if they do, it's gonna be all out craziness. If they do. If they end up closing. But I will say, if you saw last night, the crowd was in totally behind Goldberg last night. Totally. I wonder, you know what I was thinking? That has not happened in a long time where Brock has not sure got... Didn't pipe, you sure I they was, didn't pipe in the, the, the cheers? I'm hoping that's what I was going to say. I was wondering if they started piping that in and then people started going behind it. You get what I'm saying? Just the WWE... Oh, you could, you could the tell fans. when they were talking that they were fully behind Goldberg. I know, but I'm saying this. They could have just started the little chance from in the beginning, and then the crowd fed into it and started doing it themselves. You get what I'm saying? Like, because oh. we know how WWE. Come on, it is. With the, with you know the what's funny? You know what's funny about that is that they used to make fun of WCW for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now they do it. So, and, and Remember, by they, the way, they, just to let you know, they, they used to do it. They used to do it at that time too. Mm-hmm. At that time, they were they were piping and shit. Especially on SmackDown. SmackDown wasn't always live. But like I said, I'm sticking to my I'm sticking to my guns and I'm saying that it's not gonna be a total boobation for Goldberg. I'll be very surprised and I'll admit if I'm wrong, but I'll be very, very surprised if that's the case. Because this one match, his last match, he hasn't been there in twelve years. I can't see an entire crowd booing that guy. The only reason I see them booing him is from what I told you. That's it. That's the only reason why I would see them booing. I don't see them booing him for any other reason, just because they hate Brock. I'm telling you that now because there's going to be a lot of people cheering for Brock also. I don't know, man. Like I said, things are so different, especially involving Brett. You know, Brett's a different person. He doesn't get the... Even when Brett's been on TV in Canada, he hasn't gotten the kind of ovations. But Joey, remember this. The people that remember Goldberg... Those people are going to probably most likely be in attendance to see Goldberg because that's one of their guys that they grew up watching on Nitro or whatever. So those same people probably have that hatred towards him because he ended this guy's career. I'm mm. telling you, you know Canadians, man. When it comes to Bret Hart, Canadians, Canadians, Canadians. <laughs> that's a bull. I don't think so. I, I really doubt that it's the Bret Hart effect. It took a while for, for Shawn Michaels to get out of that shit. You know? He had to make peace with Brett to get out of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't help the fact that they mentioned it like every month that he uh, screwed yeah. Bret Hart. So of <laughs> Even Bailey mentioned it <laughs> on Monday. Like she was talking about all the things she remembered in Survivor Series. The first thing she mentioned. Oh, the Montreal screw job. Uh, uh, what else? <laughs> you know what's fascinating about that? Um, <laughs> is that if you watch that Survivor Series, it is one of the worst Survivor Series of all time. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually one of the few Survivor Series besides the screw job that I actually glad that I fucking missed. It, it was so horrible that night, except for the Sean Brett. Um, but the, the rest of that card was deplorable. I remember, I remember so vividly. I remember that night so fucking vividly because I was stunned when that happened. And I remember saying, man, every match has sucked. And I couldn't wait for the Brett match because believe it or not, aside from the actual screw job, that match was actually really good. They actually had a good match that night. It wasn't WrestleMania 12 because there was a lot of tension, but it was, it was a very, very good match, especially considering that, that, that card was, was horrendous. It's one of the survivors who's going to have to go back and watch and just. It's bad. Maybe, so maybe, bad. Maybe that's the reason. Maybe that's the reason why they only mentioned that one match and nothing else happened in that card. It was so bad. I was watching Survivor Series all weekend. Um, 88, uh, like we've been talking about with that tag team match. I, you know, I forgot the tag teams that were in that match. And by the way, I was right. The Conquistadors won that match. I thought it was Powers they of did, Pain. They did, right? Right. I the, conquistadors, yeah. the Conquistadors, out of all the... By the way, check out Brain Busters, Demolition, Rockers... Heart Foundation, Bulldogs, they were all in that match at one time. And the Conquistadors won that match. I mean, that that not was... Not Ending really, Christian, by the way. Not Ending Christian. But that's how our series was awesome, man. God, I, I, I enjoyed the hell out of it. 
I watched the Undertaker debut. Yeah, it, was, it was really good. That, that was the same Survivor Series where Andre um, was a sole survivor and Hulk came out, right? No, that was that was the year before. Oh, that was the first Survivor Series. Yeah. No, it was Mega Powers. Mega Powers uh, were, were the sole survivors. Mm, okay. That was that was a good match too, man. Boss Man, forgot how good Boss Man was. Oh, he was always great. A lot of people really, didn't, didn't really, really good. They kept sleeping on him. But he was a great wrestler. He really, he was, he really was, man. He did an awesome job that night in that Survivor Series. By the way, not to bring down the mood for a second, but I have to say this because I'm gonna forget. Um, unfortunately, you know, I don't know how incredibly accurate this is, but apparently, it's confirmed by the actual person, and that is that Vader has been told that he has two years to live. That's right, Big Van Vader, former guest of the show, of course, one of the great super heavyweights of all time. Not a Hall of Famer, I might add. Um, so I would imagine that he's going in the Hall of Fame this year. You know what uh, sucks is that he doesn't have two years to live. That's just an estimate. I think he just has like, and it sucks that I'm saying it this way. I'm not making a joke out of it. But most likely he's only going to live for a year if that's what right. you're telling him. That's the, yeah, that's the estimate. Mm-hmm. But... That that does suck. And originally, they, wasn't he in the hospital because he got into a car accident? And I'm guessing yeah. maybe yeah. that's when the doctor told him. I think so. <laughs> I, I I know it's a problem that's a real like you can't change it problem. And he also said, which it, I can't I can't believe this part. I'm not saying he's lying, but maybe this is more to it. But he said it's due to the fact of uh, he, you know his wrestling and his football days. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to believe. I don't. It has to be either two things. I'm thinking is either his weight, or maybe he abused something when he was younger. Because let's face the facts. I mean, a lot of people do a lot of wrestling and football. Their hearts are I fine. Don't, so I, I don't, don't know think, how hard. Can yeah, well, considering I mean he's 61 years old, he's already passed a lot of guys who've passed away before him. Right. I mean, yeah, most I, I wrestlers to seem to before. pass away around 40. Sadly enough. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it has to do with his weight. That's just, you know, he wouldn't have. You don't get two years. Uh, you don't get a, a dead a deadline because of weight, unless it's. No, but he said he's trying to blame it on wrestling and football, and I don't right. think it's that. I think I it really is. Don't. No, well, I, I, I doubt. I think it's his weight, or he abused some sort of drug, or maybe he was on. You know, I'm not saying he was jacked up. Maybe he was some kind of steroids back in there. I don't know, but it, I'm just saying, like compared to everybody. Has been wrestling for all these years, or, or did football, or did MMA? Okay. Like Brock, they have l- 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 Let me put it to you like this: He played football back in 1974, and he continued right. to wrestle up yep. until this year. Up until this year, that's exactly what I was. I was about to say that you know, and we. By the way, it's it's interesting because we actually talked about this when he was having that rivalry with that guy from the indie scene, Will Ospreay. Thank you. Oh yeah. I, 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 when when that match happened, I said, you know, I don't know if I don't know if Vader didn't save his money or whatever, but I personally did not think he should be wrestling at this point. I think I think you have a, a point to wrestle. You know, I think at best, if you're in the greatest condition of your life, you could go to maybe fifty five in terms of having a decent run. But when you're talking about sixty, sixty one, like Flair. Uh, like Nick Bockwinkel, like uh, like Bruno, at, uh, even though you know his his situation was a little bit different. He he was doing it in his mid fifties, um, but but the difference was that he was touring and and still very much active on the roster. Um, when you go at that point, it's a little bit different. And I said at that time, I don't think Vader <laughs> should be wrestling anybody at this point of his life. Now, I don't know what his money situation is, but I'm assuming that he needs it because no, he's actually why? very financially stable right now. He's oh, got great it? money. Wow. Very he's, unfortunate, man. Very unfortunate. Wow. He's okay, mostly so, been doing it because he just loves wrestling and loves got, being got, part of the business. He got diagnosed with something very similar to why Eddie Guerrero died. Uh, he got diagnosed with congestive heart failure. Um, now, that could prove what O is saying, which is abuse of something, um, enlarged heart. You know, Eddie, we all know what Eddie Guerrero was doing. Um, not just the liquor, but, you know, if you look at Eddie in WCW and you look at Eddie in WWE, Again, he wasn't at the gym every day. Um, but so Vader, so point being is, is that 
this is uh you know this is a real situation this is not something that he could yeah it's very unfortunate man very Vader, unfortunate in my opinion situation. the top five bad guy big man ever in, in wrestling i really enjoyed his work back in the days i followed vader's career for a long time and this you hear this at 60 years old too i mean that, I'll, I'll, very unfortunate. yeah something else something else that i remember absolutely vividly and i'm being dead serious is i was watching superstars in 1986 when they announced the big the, the guy from the Rocky Mountains, I remember the trailer for Vader for for WWE, and I remember saying, "Holy shit!" Like Big Van Vader is coming to WWE, and I remember thinking like that was going to be the coolest, most awesome thing. He was going to dominate, and when he first got there, he uh, of course was in the Royal Rumble. He brutalized everybody, and then the next night, of course, attacked Gorilla Monsoon, which at that time was one of the more shocking moments on Raw history. Because nobody ever touched guys in that position. You know, now we see it obviously all the time. But at that time, nobody did that. You know, and I was like, holy yeah. shit. Like, this is going to be like, Vader's going to really dominate. And then by WrestleMania, he was in the opening match. He did dominate for a couple months. though. Well, I would say half a year to a year. But then once they turned him face, it was over. It, yeah. it was it was, it was, was over from there. Especially that match he had with Kane. That was like the nail of the coffin. So, so we we have to assume that Vader has to go in the Hall of Fame this year. Uh, oddly enough, well, well, Mick so. Foley recently said openly, not only is it time to put Vader in the Hall of Fame, but he has been working hard and talking to people who, who are the highest levels at WWE to put Leon in the Hall of Fame by 2017 for the 2017 yeah. Hall. Well, they're gonna have yeah, to do it. They're gonna have to do it now. And I will say this: that if they don't put him in the Hall of Fame, shame on them, man. Like seriously, shame because especially knowing that the man says that he might only have two years to live, you got to do it now, man. You, you cannot wait. You know how emotional yeah, that is. Let's not do our post humorously already. That's, 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 no, that's but, gonna... but 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 Laura, he's right though because you don't want a Randy Savage and you don't want a several several people that we've had that could have been up there on that stage <laughs> that WWE wasted too much time on. <laughs> yeah, think about it. I did say this about Edge also. Might as well just put him in the Hall of Fame now. He's going to retire. Put him in now. Because why are you going to wait until the guy's fucking passed on? He's already said he's retired. So put him in. Now, if they do this with Vader, the only problem I have with it is that he knows he's going to die. He's going to go up on stage and he's going to be like, you know, I only have a few months to live after this. And that's going to be the fucked up part about it. Because I, I don't think he's not going to not mention it. Yeah, that's, you're a, right. that's a good question. Hey. And also, WWE definitely, definitely needs to have a Vader section at least the next couple of months. Yeah, you know, a Vader you know, DVD. Or at least after he passes or something. A, a fucking Vader DVD. Something, man, because... A documentary. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, the guy warrants a documentary as far as I'm concerned. And I, and I, 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 by the way, I would have said that before this announcement because I was a massive fan of Vader. We had him on the show. Oh, he was yeah. amazing on the show. Um, and I said to him, I think that he deserves a documentary. He absolutely deserves him and Goldust. I, yeah, but I, I suggest anybody who's never seen like a run from Vader, go check out his old matches. You know his buildups; they were great, oh, no, especially with him and Sting. Yo, him and, him, and, him and Cactus Jack, man. But but here's the I, thing I, that I, I have: what sticks out to my mind Vince. was him and Sting. I'm sorry, Listen, sorry Vince, Vince, No, no, I'm just saying, Vince. Uh, we've seen this kind of stuff before, man. Even though we agree, like, oh, you know, this guy was the best thing in wrestling or whatever the hell it is, Vince sees things differently. So, fucking Vince probably doesn't give a shit. <laughs> I mean, Vince, like, uh, Vince McMahon I put Stan Hansen in the Hall of Fame last year. Yeah. I mean, I, I could imagine he could do I the just, same I thing just, for Vader this time. Yeah, I, I, I think that if Vince knows this, he will definitely put him in the Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. Vince Vince is a tricky guy to really understand. Uh, I, think, I think he's calmed down on it. He doesn't, he doesn't have any bad will with Vader. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not saying he Vader, does. No. If, he doesn't if, have not, bad will with if anybody. He could, if wait a minute, wait a minute. If he could put aside Bruno and Ultimate Warrior, he'll do it for Wait me. a minute. He, I'm he, not his, saying he, cannot... he has an issue with him. I'm just saying, it, like, yeah, we all he... know Vince. If he doesn't think you were the shit, right. no matter how many people like you and they say you were the shit, he right. won't fucking put you over. But I you think, know what I'm saying? So I mean, he, brought, um, he did bring Vader back for to beat um, Heath Slater when Heath Slater was doing the one-man band thing. Heath Slater. I mean, I'm just saying, though. Like, you know, I, you know I, he, he brought him in. You know, that, that's I, I, but I, but I, think, I, think this, I think this is a situation that Vince would do it for. I really do. Well, that's I don't, it. I don't, 
I think he he's calmed down on a lot of those kind of things, you know. No, like, he's just, no, he's just he's just really more like more I think mellow. He's just, he's, more no, he's losing it. <laughs> I think he's losing it. Though. He's more mellow. I think he'll put him in. He has to. There's no way, you know, the kind of like shit storm that they would get if they don't put Vader in the whole thing. <laughs> Can we put him in? Oh, well, uh, let's put him in two years. Well, he doesn't have two years. Uh, well, let's put him in after. Well, every off. year they oh, do. He's a, he's, a, he's a survivor. He'll make it. <laughs> every year yeah, they exactly. have that international the star they years. put in the Hall of Fame, like they've done with <laughs> Mil Muertes, like they've done with, not Mil Muertes, Mil Marscas, <laughs> uh, Antonio Inoki, Stan Hansen last year. Vader could be the perfect solution for their international star, like they always like to do. Not only that, but Vader worked yeah, there. That is true. That <laughs> doesn't true. matter. That doesn't unlike, matter. Unlike, <laughs> unlike, unlike, uh, unlike any of the names you just mentioned, Vader actually worked in WWE. And they treated him horrible. They did, but yeah. he still worked there. And I think I don't think they looked uh, upon Vader in that in that he he didn't matter or I whatever. Think, I don't think so. But somebody must have really <laughs> looked at him like he was not. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah. They buried him the way they did. Somebody in that company, maybe it was Vince, will probably look at him I, the same way after right. all these years. I just because they really obviously, like I said, when he first got there, they obviously did think of something of him because he attacked Mon for that. So he Vader claims that he thinks he didn't go far because they wanted to name him the Macedon, and he denied it. He wanted to be Vader. And they gave him Vader, but they didn't give him that's the, the not, full push. That's not that's not that's, what he, that's what he claims. But he was on whatever. the show. He has said that in the interview. I've heard it, like on YouTube. I heard it all. Like I'm not gonna just make that up. He said they're trying to name him the Macedon. That's exactly what he said in one of the interviews. If he, maybe he changed his stance over the years, but that's what he said out of his mouth. I don't know. Whatever the case, without question, they did not use Vader to Vader's full potential. That's for sure. But I also think that Vader went to WWE at a time where Brett and Sean were the two guys, and you know, wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. And didn't he say uh, this part? I'm not sure, but didn't he say he was supposed to uh, win the match with Sean at SummerSlam? Or I believe, something like that. I believe he was. I believe he was. That's been yeah. debated for a long time. That match. But Sean was, you know, Sean was Sean at that time, and they were going with Sean oh, yeah, at that that's time. Right. That was and the match. That Sean supposedly got mad at him or something like that. So what's interesting about what's interesting about that is that not not that long after that, Psycho Sid beat Sean. Yeah, so that's what was. Which would have been a way better choice, Vader beating Sean, because he's a way better wrestler, a better talker, everything. Yeah, I'm just saying it's pretty ironic that they didn't want to give it to Vader, but they gave it to Psycho Sid. Well, Psycho Sid, Psycho Sid, you can't front man. That guy was no, he was awesome. I'm just saying, like, he's an intimidating guy. So it's a little weird. It's a little weird that Vader didn't get it, but Psycho Sid did. I'm not, you know, he was. Yeah, we just kept hearing the two. Yeah, but remember at that time, Vince liked the big guy. Huh? Even now, I, I'm sure he does. But at yeah. that time, he was into the big guys, steroid freaks, and big <laughs> jaws and shit. Speaking of which, by the way, uh, I have to say again that I'm really becoming more and more of a fan of Braun Strowman. Like, this guy is really impressing me. He's, uh, first of all, he was literally built to be in the movies. <laughs> There's no question about that. That guy, if he was in the 80s, he would have had rivalries with Hogan yes. uh, and, and all that. Um, but he was Guess really I, impressive for the last two weeks. Guess who I use online? Braun Strowman. Yeah. <laughs> I like Braun Strowman. But, what I, but I'm saying, like, but I'm saying, like, not, it's not because like he's awesome, though. Listen, he's, he, he is definitely, uh, if you look at him, he's, he's a big dude, man. Really intimidating, uh, especially when he was with the Whites. All those guys look intimidating. You don't want to walk into a mall and see these guys just chilling there waiting <laughs> for somebody. They, they just look out of this world and shit. But um, he definitely they're all, they're all hanging out in the yogurt slot. <laughs> <laughs> they just yeah, let's not go. Over you here. You <laughs> want sprinkles with that? <laughs> hey man, but I'm, just, but I'm just saying this guy. This guy, they they, they have something with him. Um, I don't know if, how 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 much more they can do with him. Uh, I mean, they have to put him in obviously with top guys. Um, he could feel Roman. How, Roman is a is yeah. A I mean, 
he looked good out there when he was facing these guys, though, and he was part of that whole team. So the fact that he, he got like a, a holy team. shit chant from just doing a body yeah. avalanche to Big yeah. E. <laughs> yeah, no, he looks, he looks. He, he had, he had more than that yesterday. People were into him yesterday. He looks like a guy you don't want to fuck with. He definitely looks like. Him. And that's my and point. Even more so why I thought Undertaker was going to be like, I'll take the spot because, again, nobody on the SmackDown side can match up to Braun Strowman. Nobody. Apparently, no, Shane I, McMahon can. Yeah, but, yeah well. Hey, if you watch back at that final segment. You see Shane McMahon throwing fists with Braun and putting him in the corner. I'm like, no, no, definitely not. <laughs> Braun Strowman <laughs> would eat that guy for breakfast. Like, seriously. Like, come Ooh, on, man. The, I'm telling you, in the game, he, he is a powerhouse. Speaking about the game, by the way, uh, I, I don't know if you saw it, Byron, but I posted the video of all the legends' uh, entrances. So we get no, to I... see we get to see Eddie Guerrero has two entrances. He looks amazing, by the way. I mean, really, they they went all out on Eddie Guerrero. Um, Psycho Sid, however, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, first of all, I'll tell you the good news about Psycho Sid. He does have his awesome '90s entrance with the Sid Pyro. I don't know if people remember that, but when Sid was you the champ, when he fought Hogan at WrestleMania eight, he has that song. No, no. <laughs> when when I'm talking about like when Sid was feuding with Sean, and he used to come out and and they used to say Sid with Pyro in the ring. He used oh, to have, okay, okay, okay. I he used the music, Pyro, I did the old music Pyro. Does he have yeah. Does he have the original theme he had? Like yeah. He was like, Sid? yeah. So that's a good part. The the entrance is awesome. Actually, the music is actually, awesome. They, they don't have hold on. They don't have Sid Justice theme song in there. That's yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That he was my favorite theme song, honestly. No, the they don't. By the way, he just a side note: if you if you go to WWE Network and watch that match, he doesn't have that song in the in the in the remember? WrestleMania. It, must, really? it might have been copyrighted. Uh, yeah, remember wow. he used to put the guys on the stretcher, <coughs> on yeah. superstar, the wrestling. Yeah, you know, that's that was awesome, man. That was <laughs> the cycle. Sid, that was when he was in his prime, bro. Oh, well, let me tell you something. That I don't know if you remember the Saturday Night's main event where it was Hogan, Sid against Flair, yep. and and who who else was it? Flair and who? I can't you know, remember. Undertaker. Now. Undertaker. Undertaker. Thank you. And Sid, uh, kind of like started hinting at the Hogan thing. Um, that yo, I was like so into Psycho Sid at that time, man. <laughs> And let me tell you something. I was in Madison Square Garden the night that Sid beat Sean for the title. That was um, Austin Brett, 96. And while I was leaving Madison Square Garden, the entire arena that was leaving, going down the stairs, going down the hallway, were all going, psycho Sid. Like, the, the, I, the whole thing was over. And these people were going down the stairs Chanting for Psycho Sid. Like, oh, yeah. Sid was over that day, man. Sid like was crazy. over. Crazy. Like crazy. Over. I'm talking about, like, I, I went, I, I looked at my girl. He hit, he hit his manager, right? And yeah. his manager caught a heart attack or whatever. Yeah, that was, that was, he was over that day. I was yeah, there. Jose I looked at my girlfriend, like, uh, can you believe, like, that they're doing this? Like, because I, listen, I was a Shawn Michaels guy more than I was a Psycho Sid at that time. So I was a little surprised that not only that he won, which was surprising. And there's a lot of controversy about that match. Um, but also that the people were like, even after the fucking event, were going crazy for Cyclops. Hit. Like, he was massively over. So the bottom, over. Line, the bottom line is that that version of Sid is in the game. And like I said, he has the pyro. But the the model, not not the best model in the world, I, I got to say. Um, Tataka looks awesome. Uh, Greg Valentine looks awesome. B British Beefcake looks awesome. Uh, but like I said, the top notch is – watch the video. It's on the group page, by no, I'm watching it, but here's the thing. I'm, I'm reading it also, and it says uh, you could download these this Legend Pack right now on Xbox. Oh, on Xbox, yeah. It's a glitch. Oh, wow. It's a glitch. <laughs> we, we're getting it next week. All these Legends? It's, it's yeah, the Legends Pack. If you notice, there's a pattern. Goldberg was last week. This week was the Nakamura. Next week is uh, the Legends. That's crazy. So, so this is a, a glitch, and everybody got it. Wow. On Xbox. Crazy. I was just reading that. I was just like, holy shit. So you see Eddie Guerrero, right? Like, they went all yeah, out he with looks, Guerrero. Yeah, like, he you looks see, good. they did a new frog splash for him. Uh, the, they, I'm looking at his entrance now. A couple of signature, signature moves. It's Look crazy. at Psycho Sid. Check out Psycho Sid, it's because the model's not that, that great for Psycho Sid, I gotta say. The hair is way off. Um... People were saying that in the messages. Like, he looks like a creation from the creator. 
like if when you download a creator create a wrestler and i'm sure that somebody's gonna make a better cycle sit guaranteed but anyway um so yeah so for those that do have the game and were did not want to buy the nxt pack version of the game today they released nakamura apollo cruz and nia Jax. so if you're interested it's available for download like i said rumor has it that next week will be the Legends Pack with Eddie Guerrero being the headline, of course. Uh, Greg Valentine, Beefcake, Tatanka, and Psycho Sid. I'm kind of shocked that they didn't. I'm kind of shocked they didn't decide to do uh, Guerrero this week since it's um, the 11th year anniversary. I'm sure that's why they're probably going to do it next week. <laughs> I hope. Can I tell you about the game? Uh, <clears throat> they definitely fixed all the the, the bugs. No. Um, yeah, no. no. Online, they fixed because I okay. could do the whole uh, the pinning thing. It, the, the pinning thing was broken before, but it, it definitely they fixed that. Okay. So I'm having a blast online again. So yeah, they, the but the, but they for sure did not fix all the bugs. I can tell you that for a fact. I have videos prove it. I don't know why like it happens, but they gotta you know they they are gonna release another patch, so yeah. it, pro- it proves that. It's not all fixed. They gotta fix. They gotta fix. Like for example, I'll give you an example of a a bug that everybody can relate to. If I put Dean Ambrose as the hardcore champion, he'll come out with the Intercontinental title. Oh really? Yeah. (laughs) There's there's one bug that bugs. There's a lot of there's a lot of bugs that you can't even like tell when you're playing that they because when I saw it, I was like, what? I didn't even realize they had this bug. Also, since we're talking about games real quick, uh, number one, Nintendo, unbelievably, you cannot buy it. <laughs> you can't find it anywhere. You cannot, it was you cannot gone buy it. within the first for now, day. For now. Unbelievable. For now. Like, I did not expect that to happen. Really? You know how much they're selling oh. that shit online right now for? Yeah. Did you see it? $300, Crazy. $400. You think they're so here. More. <laughs> well, listen, they're going to be restocking for the holidays. So we'll buy that as a fool. Well, what, what's well, what's hilarious though is that these games, um, they're all embedded into this one little system where the Sega's the Sega's got something coming out where you could actually plug in the old games into it. Right. Oh, I thought man. that one that's, would have that's been exactly like, that. That's exactly what I was about to say. Sega Genesis now coming back, answering uh, with their own console, and it's going to look exactly like the old console. Um, yo, great to have a Valentine's look good, man. This, he does, right? My- Tatanka looks awesome too. I like his entrance. He does the the hey how are you thing around the ring. <laughs> hey, oh my how, god, how, that's, not the, real, that's yeah, not the real name of it. That's what Bobby Heenan used to say. I know. That, well, how that, funny but that was awesome. they had the You know how much I, I wish I wish we still had Reese's comments. I'm sorry. That was hilarious. Great. Great. By the way, Great. also speaking about games, if you are into Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> They are going to re-release Crash Bandicoot from the ground up for oh, PlayStation shit. 4. All three games, the original games. Oh, wow. it, so, by the, I want to make this make this very clear. Yeah, I know you don't care. I, first of all, I, th- that was to me was one of the best things no, no, no. that I, I heard last week. <laughs> I told you. His <laughs> hair looks retarded. What the fuck happened here? <laughs> but, so, I want to make this clear. So they're going to remaster Crash Bandicoot, the original games, all three original games, but from the ground up. So it's going to be like it is made for the PlayStation 4. Other other games that get remastered, that's all that, that they do. They remaster them. But this one's going to be done from the ground up. So it is going to be a mind-blowing Crash Bandicoot. I saw the, the forest thing. Oh, my God. Like, I cannot... Yo, that... I read this on the day of the election, that made my day. That literally made my day because I'm like, that's something I'm going to buy day one. And it's going to come, you'll buy it, you'll be able to download it as a pack, <clears throat> open games, remastered from the ground up for HD and all that stuff. So it's going to be awesome. Hey, um, just so you know, I think I know why they have Cycle Sid like that. I think they, they scanned him. And since he's old already, his, his, he just looks totally different. I think they only they were only able to work with that face. So what? So what? Wait a minute. So why does Eddie Guerrero, Beefcake, Valentine? Because and, they like, probably like, use they probably use photo images and be, just like you could do it on with all these uh, people that are creating 
uh, custom wrestlers. But they did, but they didn't do it for Sid. That doesn't make any sense. No, they did it with Sid. But the thing is, they used only the the face scanning. So whatever, whatever level of his jaw is 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 and his nose and all that shit. And he's old now. They try to work with that. I guess that's the no. only thing I could think of because he just no. he looks like it's it's him now. Yeah, look at it. Look a little look, younger. If you look at Eddie Guerrero, I mean, they they went all out for Eddie Guerrero. They should have done that for Psycho Sid, yeah, especially since he's never been in the game. Come on. Well, one's been in the Hall of Fame. The other one hasn't. So. Oh, but that's what I'm saying, Joey. They 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 took the the picture, and they worked with that, from from the from the like from scratch. With Psycho Sid, they scanned them. They could only do a little bit with that scan because they, that's his face. That's the way he looks right now. Uh, but it's I like, know what you're, I know what you're saying, but it still doesn't make sense to me why that why he is the only one. I don't know that has that problem. I don't know, but I, I, this is the only thing I can think of. But his entrance is awesome. By the way, I got the I got the PS4 Pro too. Oh yeah. I still have to look it up. Yeah. So, does it have yep. um the 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 HD uh, Blu-ray thing? Because Xbox is saying it, that they it, they're the only ones that have it. Yeah, it doesn't have it. It doesn't have it. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. But uh, every every game is going to be upscaled. I'll tell you one thing, though. Something in all seriousness, I saw videos like Conan O'Brien did the video for uh, Gears of War. That yeah. shit looks fucking awesome, man. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. With Xbox One, they only run at 720. <coughs> Just so everybody knows. It's not the not new a- one. There's a not new the- one coming yeah. out that's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's 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 H it's H D R. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. That one I know. That's, know. that's the new one. That's, yeah, yeah, that that's four K. It's four. The games are in four K, man. Uh, trust me. It's, so that, are the are the the ones over right, that. Next, hold on, but yeah. next year Xbox is gonna have their own. They're gonna have Project Scorpio, which is gonna be a four K gaming system. Yeah. Yeah. So right. But I'm sticking with PS4. That's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get both. Well, I mean, I already got, I already got my four, but I might add a, an Xbox One. I might, I, I would only do it for Gears, but I, I, I can't be compelled. That's why I want to do it. If anybody's gonna get the Xbox game, One, if anybody's gonna get it, it's because of the, <clears throat> it's because of the 4K. Um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, yeah. But PlayStation's yeah. also PlayStation's working on their, working on their own. own. Yeah, but Let's not, go. not for a while. Not for a while, though. Wait, what? What are they? for a while. Uh, the 4K uh, Blu-ray thing. Mm-hmm. No, everything's going to be Didn't, they, didn't PlayStation announce that they had a 4K coming out here at the last no, it, E8, it's the 4K, E7? It's a 4K. Oh, hey, hang on, are, what was it? You can't buy a 4K yeah, the, P, the PS4 Pro. Yeah, Byron it has it. Just, you can't, it doesn't have it. It doesn't have hold it. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. The, the PS4 game. Pro, doesn't. the games are not in 4K? It is in 4K. That's my, what I'm saying. But if you buy a DVD that's 4K, like a movie, you can't play it and watch 4K on it. Like, like the Xbox right. One has that. Exactly. For whatever reason, they weren't able to do it. I have no idea why. But um, I, Which is weird because they, they started that. PS4. Yeah. Speaking of weird, I do want to try and hit this subject really bad because we still got to do our pay-per-view predictions for both TakeOver and Survivor Series. Oh, yeah. And that is Conor McGregor. Yes. He recently, and well, actually the best way to put it, he is now the two-time UFC champion. He's the champion in two different weight classes. The first person to do that in UFC history simultaneously. Yep. One of the biggest deals ever in UFC, biggest buyers in UFC. And uh, before we even get into the whole UFC part, of uh, WWE part of it, Whatever. Point being, Triple H has openly admitted that he has been trying to get Conor McGregor to be on WWE television since that moment. Yep. And yeah, don't forget. Have you have you guys? I mean, I don't know, if, Joey, if you were even paying attention to it because I know you're not really a, a person that follows it. But mm-hmm. Saturday, actually Friday and Saturday was crazy here in Manhattan because it is this event. I'm talking mm-hmm. about they oh, took yeah. over. Oh, that was the one in Madison Square Garden? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they oh. took over the city. My brother actually saw Conor McGregor. He took a picture with him coming out of one of the buildings. He, he was all over the city. All the UFC stars were all over the city promoting, hanging out, partying. The city was chaotic on Saturday, dude. <coughs> I'm talking about the protesters were out, but also the UFC fans were out. 
it was just like a collision of UFC fans and protesters all over fucking Manhattan, dude. And uh, on top of and, that, they're gonna be in the Barclays Center next. And what? Is it and they're gonna be at the Barclays Center. Center. But it was it was such a uh, honestly, man. Like if you you had to fucking watch that live to live that 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 one moment because it was such a fucking a, a big event. Like every fight on that card was fucking awesome, man. Like I saw yeah, the whole shit. It was, it was, not, 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 not only fun. that, but while he was in the city, they, you know, Mayweather was saying some shit about him, and then they caught yeah. up to McGregor. Well, no, that was after. That was after. Yeah. But he says that he wasn't. He wasn't watching his bullshit. The whole world was watching that shit. Yeah, yeah he's so If fine. you're if you're involved in boxing or in mixed martial arts, you were involved in that shit, watching it some way, somehow. You were watching it, or you were. At oh the yeah, end. definitely, definitely. But can I? But can yeah, I ask you guys? Yeah. Since you guys know about the UFC thing. If it was possible to have a fight with Mayweather and McGregor, what would happen? Oh, McGregor would kill him. Oh, really? Conor McGregor would wash him up. I don't yeah, know. Conor would wash him up. If it's Mayweather like, oh, is hold about on, hold ten, hold maybe on. five years Wait past his prime. Conor McGregor is his prime right now. Yeah. It, 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 point. It, if it's a real fight, if it's an MMA fight, Conor McGregor is going to wash him up. Even if it's a right. boxing match, it, I'd if say Conor McGregor MMA would wash fight, him up. Yeah. Yeah, I would. But, I would imagine it would have to be a boxing match. Even if it was a boxing, be a boxing match, because Conor McGregor is a striker. He's known for his fast punches. That's why you'd probably still wash him up. Plus, as I already mentioned, the fact that Mayweather is way past his prime. Mm. Conor yeah, McGregor is you know hard. Can I say like, listen, the, I would. I, 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 let me tell you something. I don't watch these things, but if that fight happened, I would. Listen, the, the, first of all, like McGregor for his weight, he, he hits very hard. The punches that he was hitting the guy with on Saturday didn't even look like a hard punch. It looked like taps, and he dropped a guy three times in one round. He hits really hard. You know yeah, what I'm saying? McGregor, for somebody that's one punch. Yeah, McGregor is 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 known for his accuracy. Like if he hits you with his left, you're gonna pretty much feel that that hit. But here's the thing: uh, a lot of people said Floyd Mayweather was past his prime when he was winning all these fights. All right. Um, you gotta understand, there's a difference between a guy who boxes for years. He's been in that shit, doing that shit for 20 something years, I think. Or, who, Mayweather? He's been undefeated. Yeah, he's been Longer. undefeated. Longer than that. Okay, he's undefeated. Uh, the guy knows how to fucking protect his face <laughs> so well. Yeah, by running. I think, yeah. Well, it doesn't yeah. matter. He does it. He does yeah, it. That's so true. if McGregor gets in there. What's gonna wind up happening? And this is just my opinion on it because I McGregor's see, I watch both. What I see happening is McGregor getting frustrated to a point where he cannot hit this guy, and he starts fucking up his his his, his game. And then Mayweather—that's when he's gonna capitalize because that's what Mayweather does. He has these guys frustrated to the point where they just get so upset that they lose focus on. But here's the difference play. between like a Mayweather, and, I'm not Mayweather, a McGregor and a Pacquiao. Pacquiao will still try and fight you. If you start pissing off McGregor, he's just going to start just talking shit to you throughout the fight then. <laughs> and you're like, you are you motherfucking yeah, Floyd Mayweather? Mayweather. 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 You can't run in your shit. shit. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I, I, see, that I disagree with. I don't think, I don't think, that, would bother, I don't think that would bother Mayweather at all. Mayweather's too You have not seen cool. McGregor talk yeah, smack then. Exactly. I don't, I don't think that would bother him, honestly. He's too... Like, it, it, first of all, if they're going to fight, it's going to be a boxing fight. It's not going to be an MMA fight. So if if McGregor gets in there with Mayweather, he has to fight him boxing style. Yeah. And May, if Mayweather is too he's been doing this shit for years, man. He's had people talk shit to him in the in the ring. That shit is not gonna bother him. Yeah, well, we've, you've seen, him. people have said the same thing about Nate Diaz, Eddie Alvarez, and yeah, let's face nah, it, Mayweather, Conor McGregor like always gets in people's heads. He's got that ability to pu- push people's that. buttons. What do you think he does. Mayweather's, but Mayweather's trained. Mayweather's trained for these things. No, but not only that, I don't think you guys realize that Mayweather's been doing that same kind of shit for exactly. years also. Yeah, so they're years. both the same way. Very much, very similar. It's because he's old. I'm telling you now, just because he's old, a lot of people... How, how, say wait, how old is he? 40. He's 40 years old. That's old? But that's what people say. Well, that hey, 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 combat sports is old. Wait, wait, wait. Combat wait, sports wait, wait, how, how, wait a minute. How old was um, George Foreman when he won the title? I think he was 40. He was like 43, oh. 44, something like that. I, think, well, I, think well, I like just have flashbacks to uh, coming to America. Wait, hold on. But... Well, I thought he was 50. <laughs> I, didn't, somebody, didn't somebody win a title when, he, when they were 50? 
I, it might have been it might have been him. I don't remember. No, All no, I know no. is he wanted he wanted at forty like forty three or something like that. I thought somebody had one of But but if my memory serves me correctly, I, I, I correct me if I'm wrong. But I think he was losing that match. You're he caught him with a lucky punch. Well, he won. The bottom line is he won. Yeah, yeah all I know is that, like I said, you know. a lot of people used to say the same thing about Mayweather fighting Pacquiao. These guys are past their primes or whatever the fuck it is. Listen, the guy, Mayweather has, fought, you know, who's that Mexican guy that was 20 years young? Yeah. He's like 20 years, yeah. 22 years. The redhead. He dominated that fucking fight, man. He and you know what's crazy about this whole thing? Mayweather was a uh, George Strongest Foreman was about 55, 54 years old when he regained the heavyweight title. Yeah, look at that. That's what I, I, okay. uh, You never but know. Honestly, what I'm trying to say, but the people that keep saying about his his age, man, look at that fight. Well, how old how like, was what, George Foreman? That's my, but that's my point about um, Foreman. He was oh, I know. You're right. I did my math wrong. Yeah, 45, 43. He was 43. not 54, bro. He was 40, 44. 45. Yeah. But either way, 40, I said he, I did my math wrong. He's, he's five years older than Mayweather is. <laughs> Hold on, but you know, let, let me make this quick point. Let me make this quick point. We talk, you, you, know, you know what's messed up about this whole thing? We're talking about Conor. We're talking about Floyd Mayweather. And none of us is talking about how Manny Pacquiao just won another title last weekend. Yes. Right? That's horrible. I swear to God, oh, if you didn't tell me that, I would not have known. I told just you last me, week that. That's my point. When, Yo, you I tell you that, when you told me that, that's when I found out. In other words, I didn't even know that that happened. Yo, check this Dude, out. That's Pacquiao, horrible, bro. That, that's how you know Manny Pacquiao's... Uh, my, dad, uh, my dad didn't even know, and he's like the... the you know the boxing of all yeah, boxing. Yeah, he just won the title, yeah. man, and nobody that's fucking give a shit. Nobody even knows. Out. I was at work, all right, and I always keep up with the with the boxing stuff. But like I said, Mayweather and Pacquiao were like two biggest draws and shit. The two biggest names. Everybody wanted to see them, but one of the biggest guys already left, right? So you have Pacquiao left. Not even Pacquiao right now. Is, is, is drawing attention to his fight because I didn't even know he was fighting two weeks ago Maybe and I found that yeah. work. I was I was passing like one of the I was looking at through some sites and they were like Pacquiao was gonna fight tonight. I'm like what? Okay, <laughs> so like wait a minute. So like Sean mentioned earlier, Triple H has uh, announced publicly that he wants this guy. Would that work? What yes. do you mean? Like would they care? But <laughs> No, 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 not that. But like wrestling, you know, like we talk so much about Brock having problems with opponents. <laughs> what about McGregor? I mean, uh, well, I'm more Peterson. surprised he wants McGregor because McGregor said not too long ago about how they're all juice up to the eyeballs. Only Vince McMahon and your boss are all a bunch of fuck. That, that, yeah, that, but that, that, my just... point, my point is, is that McGregor, you know, <clears throat> wrestling, uh, I, you know, takes years and years of training. To do it the right way, yeah, McGregor is not. I, I just can't see a guy just going in there and just doing stuff without him going buck wild. I, I, you know what it is? They're talking about his promos, right? You know, he's a good yeah. talker, and he's yeah. a. And my thing is, he's a great talker. But the problem with him is, he's a great talker that says a lot of curse words. That's what yeah. makes his promos great. You know, exactly. WWE is not going to let him curse, so he's going to have to work around that. I don't think he's going to sound as. I don't think he's gonna sound as good, you know, clean, you know, than exactly. his guys dirty. Exactly. That's my. That's another thing I was gonna say is that he's not a PG guy at all. Yeah, but they might. They might bleep it out. Like they. They have that's, that fight. They're not gonna be control. able to contain that. They're not gonna be able to contain that. Listen, all I know is don't ever think that. First of all, if you really want to really look deep into this shit, <laughs> McGregor and his Instagram, he follows all the wrestlers. So he's a fan of wrestling. He follows all these guys. Would he be even the guys to, he's talked shit if, about? If he went to WWE, would he be able to fight Brock? Yeah, I would. I would imagine that I, would be the first thing they would want. I, no, because I, the reason I say that is they didn't they ask Brock about McGregor and Brock said like he, he was he nothing. Yeah. yeah, no, he said he said I take shit bigger than McGregor. Exactly. Said. That would be that would be pretty awesome though. That would be the one fight that everybody would love to see because it's something that you can't see in the UFC. You know that they, they could do that. I mean, if you listen, one thing for sure is if they get um, Connor, which I think eventually they will, because I, like I said, he's a fan of the WWE. There's no question about that shit. If if they get him, the attention that this guy's gonna bring to the WWE is gonna be fucking crazy. Yeah. And it's not I'm like they you, don't want to oh. capitalize. Yeah, you want exactly. to capitalize on that? You want to bring, you want to throw Brock in. And it's not it's like not, the UFC yeah. doesn't own the WWE a bone after letting Brock Lesnar come back. 
Right, but but the other thing about that bone is is that there that bone could be in the form of Ronda Rousey because that's another one that they're, they're really really talking about. Uh, Ronda Rousey's really dropped from grace though ever since her loss and then just disappearing. I mean, when yeah, Conor McGregor lost, he wanted to refocus his career and get back in the fight. When Ronda yeah, lost, she, she was talking about wanting to kill herself. Too. She's fighting for. She's trying to get her belt back. Well, I think next month. I'm not, I'm not denying all that, but getting Ronda Rousey is still a big deal, and that's what. I think that's going to be the, it's, it's the thing with Ronda. More, it's more of a possibility because you know, she said the next month might be one of her last fights. Yeah. So if she, lo- I believe if she loses the fight next month, to try to get her belt back. She's going to be done. She's up. She's out of there. She's, she's going to be at WrestleMania. Sure. She's definitely at the last point of her fucking uh, career with the, with the UFC or MMA in general. Right? She's she's pretty much done because that that whole loss to to this chick. Yeah. Mentally, it just fucked her up. All right, so let's let's start talking about the two mega events of the weekend because there's a lot to cover and a very short amount of time to cover them because the Survivor Series is a very stacked fucking card, and so is uh, NXT Toronto. So let's start with NXT Toronto, which is on Saturday, which, I by, by the way, I thought it was going to be either Friday or the week before, and it's going to be the night before Survivor Series, which I still think. They've been doing that with all the big... Uh, the, the takeovers with the big pay per views. They've always no. done it the night before. I don't like. I like it like that. I like it. Like no, I do. I, I do. Nah, it's cool. I think they they give every, the fans like a great action packed weekend. You know, what I mean, yeah, That's I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not denying that. I'm just saying it's too much. So you know. <laughs> here is the card. The really breaking a little information for you guys. Uh, yes. Part one: Hideo Itami was replaced by T.J. Perkins. Part two. Uh, Ben Wang, his name is no longer Ben Wang. It's Tian <laughs> Bing. Uh, oh, say, wait a minute, they changed his name? Yeah, he's no longer Ben Wang. Oh. It's Tian Bing. So damn it, that sucks. And damn, man, another interesting moment. This <laughs> <laughs> and this one's going to go into your thoughts of who's going to win the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The yes. authors of Pain, <coughs> Rezar and Akam. Uh, I'm going to mess up those names. Take yep. on TM61, Nick Miller, and Shane Thorne. And just to give you some int- int- extra notes for you. Uh, an extra inch? What? An what? extra inch. <laughs> TM61. <laughs> Glorious! <laughs> TM61 actually won their match against Austin Aries and Roderick Strong pretty much by default because Nakamura killed Austin Aries. <laughs> So king, king of straw style, not king of king style. <laughs> the king of soft style. So who you got? The new Dusty <laughs> Rhodes Tag Team Classic Tournament winners, Authors of Pain or TM61? I don't, you know, I, to be honest, I have no idea who either one of those two The Authors are. of Pain are the guys of Paul Eller. <laughs> I was say, do, do you want the person who actually knows what the fuck she's talking about to go first on this one? May as yeah. well. <laughs> okay. Um, I pray to God, I pray, I pray to God that it's TM61 because I can absolutely, and this it sucks because I actually like the authors of Payne's manager, but and I'll be honest with you, I can't fucking stand that tag team. Hate them. Wait, so one of those teams are the one that Paul Ellering? Yes, has? the authors yeah. of Pain. <laughs> I love, I love Paul Ellering. And who's the other guy? I just do not. Uh, TM61. They were formerly known as the Mighty Don't Neo back in New Zealand and New Japan. And all Japan, too, I believe. Well, I'm going to go with those guys because I don't I don't <laughs> okay. like those uh, the ones that Paul I haven't been following NXT, but I'm going for authors. authors I'm gonna go with and, but but here, here's the thing. TM61 to get to the finals defeated Sanity. I don't yeah, like but, that out but let, but let me ask you something though. Do they do they really dish out pain to call themselves authors? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> what what are they are paid for watching their matches? Ponder that for a while. Ponder that for a second. There's a there's a team called TM sixty one for real? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. It doesn't even sound good. It just sounds yeah. I was gonna say it sounds like real forty, like it's a Pokemon reference. Um. Yeah, it, it just doesn't sound good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm still going with TM61. Byron, yeah. you're going to go with the Authors of Pain? <laughs> I'll take that as I'm a yes. With, I'm, I'm going to go with Pokemon. Okay, he's going with TM61 as well. We also, before getting to the title matches, we have Bobby Roode, glorious, versus Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10. 
Who you got? Oh, Bobby Roode all the fucking way. Yeah, Bobby Roode. Yeah. All day long. Yeah, Match dealer of the night, but Bobby Roode. Yeah, I'm going with Bobby Roode as well. But I am Roode. looking forward to this match. They better, better not have a job. They better not have a job. I want, you know, everybody talking about the Canadian effect. Well, guess where Bobby Roode's from? <laughs> guess where Ty Dillinger's from? Where is he from? Canada. Is from he? Canada. Yeah. Out of a bit. But isn't Bobby Roode from Toronto? Uh, I can't give you the exact cities. I mean, uh, he is from Toronto, Ontario, and Ty go. Dillinger is from St. Catharines, Ontario. Oh, uh, the Which event is taking place in Toronto, so. Yeah. Going oh, away. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We, uh, just so we don't forget, we got to talk about that Joey Styles thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. So don't forget now. that. Everything no, we won't. We'll save that for the This finishes the, finish the production, yeah? predictions. Yes. Going into the t- tag team championship match, we have the revival taking on DIY Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa in a two out of three falls match. Who you got? <laughs> I don't even know what you say. <laughs> Johnny Gar- okay, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa versus the NXT tag team champions. I'm blanking right now. The, the revival. revival. Yeah, the, the revival. revival. I'm going with the revival all day long. <laughs> Why are they I there? want Tommaso <laughs> and Johnny to win this match so fucking bad. Wait, you you turning your back on the revival? I love the revival. Do not get me wrong, but I want to see Johnny and Tommaso win the championship. Mostly because freaking revival's been ducking them for months. Okay, but so you think that to, you know the other guys are going to win? I, I would love to see Johnny and Tommaso win. No, I know that you want them to to win, but do you think they're going to win? It's predi- you know we're predicting. I don't see why not. <laughs> if I'm well, saying that gonna, if I'm saying I want them to win, obviously I want them to fucking win. Mm. I, I hope it's a revival. I hope it's a revival too. But since they beat them at the last takeover, right? So I'm guessing yeah. uh, Champa and uh, Gargano is going to win this time. Yeah, I'm going to go with. Momentum. I'm going to go with do, DIY, then... Gargano and Ciampa to win this match as well. If they do, then maybe the rival is headed to the uh, main roster. Which kind of scares me because you look at the rosters. Roster. Exactly. They're all really kind of getting... My favorite tag team right now. I'm sorry. That, that, that scares the hell out of you, to be honest. Like you look, you saw SmackDown tonight. They have nine tag teams. You see Raw, they have six tag teams. Jesus, it's guys. Sick. <laughs> yeah, they need it the rival. Sick up there. Um, yeah, but but the, wait a minute. But wait, do we count the headbangers? I mean, even then, if you not count the headbangers, right. that's eight tag teams. I think we count yes, them. Smackdown I mean, they did today. Smackdown it's has a lot of tag teams. Sick as hell up there. Yeah, that's what she said. They have a lot of. You know what's interesting is that they have a lot of tag teams, but we only see four. Yeah, <laughs> and but it's crazy because I saw them all tonight. I was like, holy shit, they have these. Two. It just looked really yeah. packed there. Exactly, teams. but we only see four of them. Crazy. Speaking of thick, we have the women's championship match: what? Mickey James versus Oscar. That's what she said. Sorry. Oh, this is going to be the to me the match that I really want to see, probably second most. But uh, I, you know, it's unless Mickey James is going to be there, Oscar all the way. <laughs> well, it's not like she's not going to be in the ring; like she's going to be somewhere else during the match. <laughs> no, I'm saying. Like, Wait, isn't she <laughs> fighting here? Isn't she fighting Mickey, Mickey James? Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying, if Mickey James is going to stay in WWE as a wrestler, but if she's not, then it has to be Oscar. I think, I think they're going to do. I think they're going to do that, man. They need more females. That, that they need some kind of. Like, you can't just rely on Sasha Banks and fucking uh, they, they, Fred's daughter they, all the fucking time. That's true. Man. NXT different. NXT is missing some major, major like female presence. I'm sorry, but I can absolutely cannot stand Billy Kay and whatever the fuck other. Bitch's name is. Yeah, but Peyton you know who's Royce. good though. Um, you know who's good. Um, uh, maybe I'm not saying the name right, but oh, Amber Moon. Yeah, yeah, Amber Moon. Oh, I love good. Ember. I love Ember Moon. She's like yes, the she's out, out of out of the rest of them. She's the only one else that I really like. And of course, I because Laura and I both know her decently, Aaliyah. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, that was cool on SmackDown to have all the women brawl. That was awesome. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, there's. I just came across a picture on Facebook. Uh, Nikki broke his truth again from that. Nice. 
That was cool. I, that was a good brawl between the women. <laughs> I like your resource. Nice. <laughs> I, I like that because they're, they're going hard, man. I like that. Speaking of combat. going hard, we have the main event. Shinsuke Nakamura, Samoa Joe. Who's going to die? Who you got? <laughs> well, uh, sorry, but got to go with my main man who I downloaded today, Shinsuke Nakamura. And you know what's interesting about that is that Samoa Joe was for a very long time my main man. Nakamura is my guy, man. That's that's the guy. That's the guy He's of all guys. Nakamura. I think I think they're gonna surprise everybody, and it's gonna be Samoa Joe, man. I don't know. No, I, think, I, think, I think Joe's gonna lose. So I think, fucking bad. I think Joe's gonna lose it and finally go to the main roster like the next night or something. Or yeah, but that's why I'm now. saying it's too obvious because that's why every, everybody's already expecting that, and. It would be good if they just flip it on that on that and just fucks everybody. No, you know, you know why? Because I think I think it's too early to have Nakamura lose a high profile match. Yeah, yep, he's fighting Samoa Joe, and that right. doesn't mean he can't fight Samoa Joe again. I mean, I understand that part because they shouldn't. I mean, he just won the fucking belt, right. but you also gave him the belt too early. Right. That's true. I don't think they gave him the belt too early. I, I mean, he's well, the biggest they, name in that of, brand. He just need the belt. Yeah, he, but... didn't, he did not need that belt. Right, yeah, that's true. No, they did give him to it. They did give it to him too early. Well, I mean, sure. When he walked in the door, he was the biggest name in NXT. I mean, yeah, but now, yeah, but yeah, that but doesn't, now that you doesn't mean him. you give him the title, though. That isn't. Yeah, you don't have him going after. Way, him, you know, exactly. Like and by the way, because because he was the biggest thing there, it means that he didn't even need the championship. Exactly. You didn't. You did not need that belt, man. You could have built something else up for him. However, I, mean, I think it's more, more NXT like, needed someone like Nakamura to hold the belt versus Nakamura needing the belt. That's true. Yeah, because uh, honestly, I and I'll be I'll be straight up honest with you. With Joe was the champion, it was dead. Mm -hmm. But bottom line is Nakamura's gonna win. <laughs> and some, and that's your takeover card right there. Just for some fun trivia, the rumors are going crazy. That right now it might be Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe at WrestleMania. I hope so. That would be that great. Would, well, uh, can, can I just say if that? Well, that's obviously ten times better than Shane. Um, but they, then if that's the case, they cannot have Samoa Joe lose yeah, on Sunday. Sure. You cannot have a guy lose and look like that before taking on Brock Lesnar. You it's, if but unless, if it's a knockout that drag down fight, you damn right he can lose and still fucking make it to the main roster like that. I don't know. It's a I challenge. Mean, you, you, were talk, you were talking December, January, February, and March before you get to WrestleMania to build him up in the main roster. Yeah, that's true. Well, you you know, there's also rumors of Nakamura fighting Brock Lesnar. How about that? Nah, I'm not into God, I hope I'm so. I'm sorry, man, but it's going to be Shane McMahon. They planted yeah. the seed again. On, How great on, would it be? Nakamura Monday. and Brock Lesnar. They're just going to be stiff in the shit out of each other the entire match. I think, <laughs> I think that would be awesome. Reality, it would be better than We all Shane. want it, but in reality, we're not going to get it. We're going to get Shane would, McMahon yo, against Brock Lesnar. I would rather see uh, Samoa Joe. I feel like they match better than uh, uh, Nakamura and Brock. How hilarious would it be if to. Nakamura, uh, Nakamura fights? Nakamura would hold his own against Brock, I think. I, I think about Nakamura like, might knock Joe, out Brock you know, Lesnar on accident. Better. That would be hilarious. Like, right Ooh. in the middle of the fight, Nakamura just knocks him out with his uh, Bama Yay. <laughs> Nakamura's going to injure him, too. Watch. So, on to the Survivor Series, which He's is going to uh, be James Worthy against uh, Brock Lesnar. James Worthy? <laughs> James oh, Worthy right. of the Los Angeles Lakers? <laughs> Ellsworth. And by the way, he's, he's rumored to sign a full time contract. Yay. Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, but, sure. but, but let me. But you know what, Laura? I'm only going to watch him part time. <laughs> so let's let's ask Booker T how he feels. That's about what that. we need to be protesting about in, in fucking Times Square, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's not my wrestler. He's not my wrestler. <laughs> so real, going man. into Survivor Series, we'll be starting with the championship matches first. The there's Brian no Kendrick versus Wait, there's, huh? There's no pre-show. Uh, we're not, they might announce one on Thursday or something, but right now... Stuff, you're, telling me, how the hell, you're telling me Baron Bolden is not going to main event the pre-show? Well, Baron Bolden's actually injured. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's the really? reason Shane's he, he actually... I heard he's going to get some implants on his uh, head. <laughs> Wait, is, he really, is well. he really injured, though? He got injured at a house oh. show, and that's why they had that match with Kalista where he, he injured his, his leg. His, his, oh. two, 
like his two strings of hair. Thank, thank you, <laughs> House Show. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, just, starting yeah, with right. the championship matches, we have the Brian Kendrick versus Kalisto for the Cruiserweight Championship. Oh, if God, SmackDown wins, yes. Yeah. And love if it. SmackDown wins, SmackDown will receive the Cruiserweight division. And honestly, after seeing what we saw with uh, Oni Larkon, I think his name was, and Kalisto, <laughs> SmackDown did better with the Cruiserweights did and then yes. Raw has ever done yeah, it. So. I, 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 oh, wait a second. I'm, wait a second. Can, I, can, I just, can I just I'm say that I, I did enjoy Brian Kendrick doing that speech on top of the <laughs> on top of whatever he was on top of and then you know everybody, you know, not wanting <laughs> I forgot what he wait, was on yeah. top of, but it was funny. It was like a white Listen, box. Yeah, you but noticed? you know what's the messed up thing is the crowd don't care about them. I, I really do see that Kalisto's gonna be Brian Kendrick. I, I, he's that's, gonna be the that's champion. That's what I was gonna say. I mean, that's gonna be a last minute decision. Oh, that, I, I've oh. been saying that shit for months. No, but I feel like they're gonna do it now because if, if I don't know if you guys saw on Monday, but they were yelling boring when Brian yeah, Kendrick fought. Whatever the hell it was, they were they were Sin screaming car. boring. And it was boring. You know why it was boring? Because the fans make it boring. Once exactly. they start no, talking, that, but I'm just saying, like, out. yeah, I, I don't think Brian Kendrick's boring. I, I think the fans just want to hate it. No, yeah. well, the I fans were in into it when it was Kalisto right. and Oni Larkon tonight, though. I don't think yeah. it's the right but that, kid. But that was my point months ago. I said Kalisto's a guy that you start the division with. That's the guy. No, you don't listen, start, I don't. Yeah, think I think he's starting right. to realize that. I don't think the fans right still kid. do that stupid lucha, lucha with the finger. They still do that shit. So you know they're gonna give it them. They're gonna be. They're gonna be invested. They're gonna be invested. Yeah, I don't think I it's think, the right for Raw, and I don't think it's the right fit for SmackDown. It's exactly. not. It's not going to even work on SmackDown. I think. I think that the cruiserweight division <sighs> is going to SmackDown, and the Intercontinental title is going to Raw. No, that's what's going to happen. I don't know about the Intercontinental belt, but I know that the cruiserweight is going to go to SmackDown. But I still have a weird feeling that people are not going to be into it on even SmackDown. I think, nah, like I said I just, before, I just they should. But they were into it tonight, before. though. Yeah. Yeah, but what they should have done... That's because of Kalisto. Have, I, I, no, they should have given that Cruiserweight its own show. Just like they have NXT. They actually are. It's called 205 Live. Well, yep. then they don't need to be on fucking SmackDown. No, they need to be on SmackDown. No, they they need regular television exposure. Here's the problem, no, here's the problem with it. No, here's the problem with it. They, they need to build guys up. They don't have enough time in those two hours to build. They have too many people. They already have... The heavyweight. Okay, yeah. here's my thing though, Byron. Most of SmackDown tonight was all talk. There was maybe four matches in the entire two hours. And where hours. are they going to fit the cruiserweight with all that talk? I think. Yeah. I think what. But the point is, is that they're going to limit the fucking talking and then get back to the fucking action. This is what they're going to do. Oh man, I don't know because the, sometimes it it, get, it becomes like it's talking. Sometimes it's action, but then sometimes you know they don't pay attention to certain things, even on SmackDown. So I think they should have fucking no. just they just should just keep it separate on their own shit because I think they're gonna get lost in on the SmackDown too. I, I, I think I think, I think Kalisto is gonna make it. But you're just better. talking about Kalisto. It's just Kalisto. No, I know. But what, but what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is, is that that's how you start it. That's how you start it. Then you right. start you wanna, the other guys. But Kalisto already has a name, so why don't you just put them on their own show? And build Kalisto. They are the doing that team. though. So what the yeah, hell are we arguing about? Well, and by the way, why why is it called two hundred five? Because the weight class is two hundred five. Oh. Anyways, speaking of class, we have the Miz taking on Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. Honestly, I'm expecting Z- Miz and Zayn to have a great match. And who you got? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before we do our predictions for this, uh, I just want to point she out. Though. Yeah, I, that's how they took that, the belt that, off already of Dolph Ziggler. I thought Dolph that, Ziggler would, would put a way better match. That, than that's Miz. exactly what I was about to say. This whole uh, I, well, I told you Ziggler was going nowhere. Told you. Yeah, yeah. a pointless uh, fucking thing to do. I, I even said the same thing. It, just, it was pointless because out of feeling they were going to take that belt away from him. Like exactly. meant you did no, all that shit for nothing. Told you. Went right back down again. Ziggler, Ziggler is a doomed guy. He's just a doomed guy. They, they cannot follow through with Ziggler ever. But going back to the match, uh, I say Sami Zayn wins the belt and brings it to Raw. I don't think they need it, though, but I, they might happen. They might, they might happen. They don't need that belt, though. I think they, they already yeah, have. Sami Zayn is on, like, no momentum. He lost, like, I don't know how many matches. Is he really going to be the next? But he beat Bo Dallas. 
Wow. <laughs> that's another that was guy. First, that's the first match you won in how no, long? But, but, oh, it's not, it's not, it's not just it's not just Sami Zayn. It's what it represents, him bringing the belt to Raw and the Cruiserweights going to SmackDown. It's a switch. Oh, that, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, that, that, that it's, not, it's not about Sami. You know, <laughs> Sami is irrelevant, obviously. Yeah, but I had a but, but he could he could elevate, you know, with with this intercontinental title. But the bottom line is that the title goes to Raw and the Cruiserweights go to SmackDown. That's the bottom line. Well, so you, you talking about Dolph Ziggler's doomed, but Sami Zayn ain't. He seems like he's more doomed than Dolph Ziggler at this point. No, so I am I the only one? Out. Am I the I only think, one thinking I, the Miz is going to win this? Yeah, I think Sami's gonna. Um, I don't think Sami's doomed like Ziggler. Mm. I think he has a chance. I think the Miz got this. The Miz is the most entertaining heel and the only heel WWE seems to have right now. Because I mean, he's the only one that seems to be getting booed right now, unlike anyone yeah. else. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't know. I, I would like to see Sammy win it. I think it would elevate Sammy. I think he needs it. I think, you know, again, the switcheroo. So I think it's a perfect scenario for Sammy to win it. So, but, you know, I, I, I can see the Miz wedding. Uh, Laura, Byron, Innocent, your guys' picks? Uh, yeah, the Miz is winning that shit. He's not losing Yeah, the Miz is winning. Ain't no way Sami Zayn. I don't even know why to put him in the paper. You know what? I, I'm actually going to give this shit to Sami Zayn. Oh. Well, shit. See, honestly, I was thinking Sami Zayn Let's before. Let's go. I was thinking it was going to be Sami Zayn before Dolph Ziggler lost the belt to the Miz. But... You know, here, here's here's my thing though. Um, they might pull a uh, a little trick on us because you guys are right. Sammy's kind of like flailing in, on the raw roster. So here's my thought: Sammy wins the IC belt but goes to SmackDown. That's true. I was thinking that too. They need a secondary title on SmackDown. If they take the IC belt away, what the fuck do they have? Nothing. Well, that's what I'm saying. But why would he go to? I mean. If he wins the belt, he's going directly to Raw with the belt. You got to have some kind of trade on or trade off on Monday if they're going to do something like that. Yeah, they could. I can because see they already going said, to Yeah, if they already said if he wins the belt, he's taking it to, to Raw. That's where he's, he's born. That he is Raw, right? But they could do a trade. I heard that there, there's going to be trades. So Yeah, soon there are going to be some trades and stuff. But I, I, think, I, think, I, I, think, I think if the Cruiserweights get the belt... On, on SmackDown, then uh, Daniel Bryan's going to be like, you know, we, we should make a trade. We don't have, uh, you know, any secondary titles or we get a shot at the United States title, something like that. But, remember, the winner of this battle between Raw and SmackDown receives three picks from the other show. Really? So if Sami hey, Zayn wins the belt and goes to, and takes the belt to Raw and then SmackDown wins... The Elimination Survivor Series tournament, whatever you want to call it, then they could just draft Sami Zayn back to SmackDown. And oh. you know who's gonna come? You know who's gonna if they, which I think SmackDown is gonna win. Uh, the guy that they're gonna they're gonna bring into that roster is gonna be uh, for sure Sami. I mean, um, Cesaro. Like he, his name is always throwing uh, out there. Like, Cesaro always mentioned. Cesaro's yeah. right now still being t well. Before we get too much in that whole who we think is going to go and whatnot. Let's get into the matches. Yeah. First off, tag team elimination match. The New Day, Sheamus and Cesaro, The Club, Enzo and Cass and the Shining Stars versus Beauty and the Man Beast, The Hype Bros, American the Alpha, belt? The Usos, and Brizongo. No. I'm going with Team Raw on this one. Yeah, team definitely. Raw. Just Team SmackDown just seem like a bunch of jobbers. I don't know, man. Just, yeah, they do. The names you put out there is just... Sound horrible. Raw, Raw has way better tag team and name value. <laughs> so like, it's not like main. It's not like main event against Raw or something. I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm. I'm, I'm actually going with Team SmackDown in this one because because we keep hearing from Gallows and Anderson that they're going to stab Team Raw in the back during this match. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Like this way. I, li I like that they really get out of. I like it. I, yeah, I like it too. But you know, what a bust, man! What a bust! You know, AJ and and the and the club have, have taken two very very different paths. <laughs> one has been very successful, and one has been a massive bust, man. So right now we've got it set that most of us believe Team Raw is winning the tag team one. Now the women's one, Team Raw, 
Charlotte Flair, Bailey, Nia Jax, Alicia Fox, and Sasha Banks versus Nikki Bella, Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, Carmella, and Naomi. We got uh, once again Raw. I think Raw Raw can't win everything, so it's going to be hard on that one. I I, I see Charlotte and and, and Sasha Banks not getting along before um, Nikki Bella and um, (laughs) Big Cass's girl, whatever her name is. Carmella. Carmella, Carmella, yeah. Talk about, by the way, that feud, I I just, I don't understand it. I I I could care less about that feud. That is the most unrelevant feud I've ever seen. The Nikki Bella and Carmella. Their matches like do not interest me. Their feud doesn't interest me. I'm way more into Alexa Bliss and uh, Becky Lynch. Oh yeah, for sure. But I, 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 I'm, going, I'm going with Team Raw. I mean, you have Charlotte, you have Sasha, mm-hmm. you have Bailey, you have fucking Nina Jax. Get the hell out of here, man. Raw is all the way. <laughs> and this is the match where I think Raw's winning this one. Raw's winning that one. So right now, Joey, you think Raw is winning the Survivor Series series? No, just those two particular matches. But then they're winning the series. SmackDown has to win two of the three to win the series. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, that's not necessarily true because you also have the Cruiserweight. You also have the IC title match. That wasn't really part of the original deal. They were saying the winner of these Survivor Series matches. And then they just put these titles on the lines because Dolph Ziggler was a champion of the people. And then we'll we'll put Kendrick (laughs) on the line too. Wait, he was a champion of who? The people. (laughs) Yeah, the one people. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm saying that the tag team match is going to Raw and the women's match is going to Raw. That's what I'm saying. All There's right. no way that Nina Jax and Charlotte and Sasha, you got three of the four horsewomen on one side. Get, come on. The four horsewomen. I don't know why I laugh every time I hear that. Well, between the shining stars and the club, I just think Team Raw just isn't as strong as Team SmackDown. Uh-huh. No. no. But you got the fucking hype bros on the other side. Exactly. God. How how bad are they, man? I'm sorry, but they should have they should have switched that out for the headbangers. <laughs> for or, real. Or, or, With the original music. For real. Or, or 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 the spirit squad. Whatever. We also. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus, I almost died there. <laughs> we also have Team Raw, Team SmackDown. You know what? You failed though. You didn't. <laughs> the men's match. Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, the man that apparently matters more than the world champion, Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, <laughs> and Seth Rollins, versus AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton, and why the hell did I my here, Shane McMahon. Who we got? Uh, for sure, Team SmackDown. Yeah, SmackDown. And, and I'm going with what Joby said a couple weeks ago. I think AJ Styles might win this. AJ Styles, let me tell you something. Today, you know, again, every time I see AJ, it just makes me like the guy, love the guy even more. He is so freaking awesome. Everything, he's gotten yeah. so good on the mic. He really has. Oh, man. yeah. He's really into it. He's really believable. AJ, AJ, what AJ has done is he's done what Eddie Guerrero did, which was he was okay in WCW, and, and AJ obviously was okay, more than okay in TNA, but they elevated in WWE their mic work. They became actual characters. And AJ's mic work and Eddie's mic work got 10 times better in, in WWE. And AJ's doing phenomenal stuff, man. I really enjoy what AJ's doing. Now, you know, it's it's interesting because you have a team that has Braun Strowman. <laughs> but, again, I think that's, you know, remember, you could get disqualified. You could get counted out. So that's going to be a situation where Braun's not going to get pinned. But he certainly will get himself disqualified. I'm sure. Yeah, he'll count it out or something. Yeah, definitely. He's gonna encounter Bray, or he's gonna encounter uh, Randy, and you know they're they're probably all gonna get uh, disqualified and counted out. I think Braun yeah. might just like beat up like the Raw team and just walk out or something yeah. like that. You know. I think I think you'll have AJ and Owens at the end. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. See, I'm. I'm agreeing with you. That's going to be AJ carrying Team SmackDown. I think AJ will probably be a lone survivor, probably yeah. facing Roman yeah. Reigns in the finals because of stupid reasons. Right. But I think this is going to be the club helping AJ Styles get the victory. No, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I don't know about all that, but... No, it makes have... sense. What about you, Byron? Well... <laughs> That's the official I don't give a shit moment. Like, where's that? 
Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a zombie from Walking Dead. His mic sounded crunchy. He's like, <laughs> well, I'm more for AJ because, you know, I'm an AJ fan. Um, but I think what Sean said does make kind of sense. They're going to be in the same building. And um, I think I think they're going to interfere. So uh, it would just make sense for them to come out and help their guy. Uh, but, but, but why, though? They haven't interacted with one another. AJ doesn't know. need them. They're the Bullet Club. Yeah, That's he, why. I, I get that, but AJ doesn't need the them. Bullet Club, Mo. Yeah, I think it's going to bring AJ down, man. I'm sorry. No, it's not because it's only one night. And they, that only shows that these guys are still good with each other. I never mm. want to see them, though. Go to SmackDown and, and team up with AJ again because that that will bring him back down. But that's what's gonna happen. If they help, they, the Raw's gonna be like, you know what? If you like AJ so much, you go to SmackDown. That's what's gonna happen. No, I'm telling you. No, they're gonna punish him probably. <laughs> no, they're gonna send them to SmackDown and they, they're gonna team up with AJ. Mm. If that happens, if they interfere, which is why I don't well, think. That- regardless, regardless, I want I, it's gonna be AJ. Hopefully, he's the, the victor in the whole thing. And- I think it's going to be two guys on the SmackDown team. Uh, wait, how can he be the victor if his name is AJ? Shut up, Joey. <laughs> I'm just saying. You can't have two names. Well, by sounds of it, we all, really, we all seem to be leaning more the team SmackDown's winning, even though Joey thinks Raw's winning most of the matches. But The, the other two matches, yeah. I mean, the, uh, just look at the teams. Yeah, but you also thought Sami Zayn's winning. So, yeah, you thought Raw's winning most of the matches. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to be wrong on a lot of them, but that's that's what I think is going to happen going in. So who do you think should be drafted then? That I don't know. I, I hope Cesaro goes to SmackDown. And I hope Sami goes to SmackDown. And, if, again, if the Bullet Club interferes, they'll probably go to SmackDown. Even though I kind of like Sheamus and Cesaro as a team, I mean, <laughs> They're growing on me, but um, but I don't know. You know, uh, Cesaro would be my number one pick, though. No, I'm thinking it's going to probably be uh, Sami Zayn in the club going to SmackDown. That, the matches that Cesaro could have with AJ, mm. be some good <laughs> shit there, man. Oh yeah, Laura. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you know, at least I'm probably thinking about it and you were just like wait wait when Byron's just like raw no I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with Team Smackdown <laughs> you're saying who's going to Smackdown he was like, he was like raw <laughs> you say Braun's Sorry, going to Smackdown I, I'm, uh, I'm I'm saying Team Smackdown wins uh, as to who goes That's a I say Cesaro <laughs> Cesaro, maybe Sheamus, and Cesaro then they did. can always they can always pull Sammy over too. <laughs> just saying, yeah. and they might take both of them. It might just be Sheamus and Cesaro together as a team, and but, eventually they'll split them up on SmackDown, have their own separate thing going. But for sure, those two guys need to get out of that fucking ball show. Man. Well, there's been a lot of talks that Sheamus and Cesaro will be the ones to end the New Day streak. So. I hope so because, yeah. like I said, they're growing on me as a team. I think that's. that's I'm, a I'm really enjoying. I'm really enjoying uh, Sheamus and Cesaro. It's, it's so am I. But here's the problem: it, it it goes back to how I look at Ziggler. It's like they 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 do something with these two guys, and then out of nowhere they start losing it again. And I'm like, what the fuck? They would you know what? You know what I? You know what I can't wait for is for Oscar to go to the main roster and fight Charlotte because I think that would be. You know, getting away from Sasha for a second. You know, Asuka and Charlotte. They need new faces, man. They would, they they would tear start, that shit down, man. We really I'm, need to start building these females. Pay attention more I'm to really, the other ones. I'm really excited about that matchup, though. I think they would tear it down with Asuka and uh, Charlotte. Nia Jack sucks. She really okay. fucking sucks. Man. Have you seen the way she wrestles, man? <laughs> She's she wrestles does. like a big girl. Yeah, she's sloppy as fuck. I watch her and I'm like, what the fuck is she doing? She looks so fucking... I've well, seen skinny bitches be sloppier. Why do like, they gotta be bitches? <laughs> Dana Brooke's pretty damn sloppy, to be listen, honest. Listen. Yeah, she is. Like that, right? It's a fucking pain to watch. Dana Brooke she watched right. a... I don't know. She, that's another one that's growing on me a little bit, Dana Brooke. No. No. No, but... It, but I don't know if any. I mean, Joey, have you seen Nia Jax the way she moves in that yeah, ring no, and stuff? Like she, 
she's, 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 she's not like most. She's like, I don't like it. But but Laura's right though. She's a big girl, so she's gonna wrestle a she's big. She's a girl. big bitch. She's gonna wrestle a big girl size. I mean, that's how she's gonna wrestle. It's like Braun Strowman. He, Braun Strowman's not gonna do Hurricane Runners. <laughs> oh hey, yeah, you Brock Lesnar could do a. <laughs> yeah, but Brock Lesnar's a freak of nature. Speaking of freaks of nature, that's your main event. That and, and I'm telling, I'm telling you, I would personally like to see Braun and Brock. I'm sorry, I'm yeah, saying that. Imagine that. Imagine that at WrestleMania. Hmm. You know, Brock Lesnar would beat the shit out of Braun Strowman. <laughs> I don't know. Just like he did at the yeah. Royal Rumble when Braun you, wasn't you, you selling. You keep you keep you keep building Braun all the way up to WrestleMania like this. I think people would be very interested. Yeah, but if he if Braun doesn't sell, Brock will right. start stiffing the fuck out of him like he did oh, no, at the yeah. Ma- Rumble. No, so. he'll destroy. Him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll destroy him. No, did you see the picture that they have of Braun Strowman for Halloween? Like he, the way he dressed up. <laughs> he dressed in drag. It was fucking awesome. No, he dressed no, as Wonder Woman. No, did you see John Cena? He's dressed like Nikki. Uh, yeah, Nikki Bella and B- Nikki yeah. Bella dressed as John Cena. Yeah, yeah I saw that. But the funniest thing is, you got to see this picture. If I find the picture, I'll post it up. Is Braun Strowman dressed as Wonder Woman? Really? Oh, you got. I'm dead ass serious. He has the it's fucking, hilarious. You got to find that. So fucking, he got lipstick on, and I'm right like, now, what? Man, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I would rather see Braun as Wonder Woman than John as Nikki. But yeah, it was horrible, dude. Oh my God, John looked so bad. It, it, it was complete with video with uh, yeah, with Cena. His girlfriend <laughs> wound up being John Cena. They were both like doing their voices. Yeah, we just, we just but she, their voices. she pulled it off really well. But John looking like her, it was just a, a horrible mess. <laughs> Speaking of horrible messes, movie. we have the main event: Brock <laughs> Lesnar versus. On my hip, Goldberg. Yeah, you got me it's, in my it's fantasy warfare gone real. Gone wrong. <laughs> I, so, and again, I'll say for the record that I'm the only one that's looking forward to this. I can't mm. wait for it. I don't care what kind of a clusterfuck it is. I can't wait I'm for it. I know it's going to be a clusterfuck. I know it's not going to be Steamboat and, and Flair. But I can't wait, man. I want to see that Goldberg entrance. I want to feel that crowd. It's going to, again, we won't see mega matches like this very often. And I'm soaking. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. But So obviously, because of WrestleMania, you would have to imagine that Brock was is going to win. But again, it's so difficult because would they do that to Goldberg? Like, I don't know, man. Yeah, this, I, I don't know. I, I I, this is the first one where I'm not certain that Brock is going to certainly win. I don't Let know. Me do it for I, you. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that Goldberg is going to certainly win. I, I, I just see uh, that they can't contain it. I'll do it for you. Brock Lesnar wins easiest matchup Lesnar's had so far. Not as far <laughs> as the match goes, but as far as my decision goes, this is the easiest one I've had to do. Yeah. I, again, and, and I'm stating for the record, once again, that uh, Goldberg does not get booed out to the extent of what people think. I think it'll be split. I think people will be into both of them. Um, and it's not going to be as bad as people think. I think Goldberg, I think Goldberg is going to be better than people think. But it all boils down to what I said a couple of weeks ago. If Brock cooperates, it'll be a decent match. If Brock doesn't cooperate, it's going to be a bad night for Goldberg. Because Goldberg is the one that's going to take the suplexes, not the other way around. And Goldberg throwing security guards around is one thing, or lifting Rusev up. But taking suplexes the way Brock does them, that's a different fucking story. That's Mm going to be the concern. Can Brock, I mean, can Goldberg take it? Can he take it? I can don't know. he? Look like, look like Randy Orton can barely take it. <laughs> uh, he can take it. What do you think, Lara? Uh, we've been here before. <laughs> I recognize this tree. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, 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 I honestly, I'll, I, I'll, this is what will happen. I'll stick around for the entrances because I'm, I'm going to enjoy listening to the crowd. And. And the minute uh, I'll make it probably two minutes in the match, and I'll be like, "Nope, fuck this, done." I hope. Listen, man, I, I really hope that everybody's wrong about this fight because I really believe that they're gonna they're gonna fix what they did. Yes. Twelve years ago, they're gonna fix that because they were they. I'm sure they look back at that and they're like, "Damn, that was a fucking 
dumbest one they of know. the dumbest matches yeah. I've been in there. They want to fix that. So I hope that they got together. They actually because you know they're not gonna work good in there just talking amongst themselves. Okay, you go this way and I go that they're not gonna do that. Right. I think the best thing to That's do is have them sit down, talk about how exactly. the match is gonna go. And because he did it with, with Diamond Dallas Page, I think it was. Goldberg and they had a really but good that, match but that but that but that's my point. It, like I said, if Brock cooperates, I think they will. I think I think I think they they. I don't think the guy it's they hate they. each other. It's not they. No, I I know that, but Brock didn't hate Ambrose, and Brock didn't certainly hate uh, Orton. But it's all about cooperation, right? But I think so I think they all, might have died so, together. So hold on. So do we all think that Brock is going to win? You got to understand, Brock. Brock, if you watch his matches, he doesn't take a lot of stuff. At him, Goldberg is a guy that warrants him doing offense on on Brock, and Brock doesn't take offense. So think about that for a while. <laughs> Goldberg is all about offense, and you're wrestling a guy who doesn't take offense. That's what you gotta understand. Are, are we all in agreement? You no, know, I haven't. I haven't heard. I, I remember they were saying that Vince was having a hard time deciding who's gonna go over in this match because he doesn't know if if, if uh, Goldberg is gonna stick around or not. I think he, he doesn't know if he should. He doesn't know if he should push him to go Actually, over. No, Vince. Vince said, Vince said to Jr. That, that he was that everything that changed everything when changed. he went to Denver, and he got that reaction. Vince said it. I have the quote. He said, "When when Goldberg got that reaction, he was like, that's when I realized that you know th there's something here. We have so something you have something here. You never know. Get like, the T-shirts you, ready. You, you even said that. You even said that that night that." That kind of reaction might change everything for Vince. Yeah, I, of course. Listen, I already know how the ending is going to be. I, I see it now. Goldberg's going to strip. Oh, he's going to fall on Brock Lesnar's shoulders and give F5. That's what's going to happen. Mm. Wait, wait. So Goldberg's going to trip, fall he's gonna on... He's going to trip on Brock Lesnar's shoulders like he did on Raw, <laughs> and, and that's it. He's going to get F5. It's over. How is he going to oh, trip on Brock Lesnar's shoulders? What a match. <laughs> what a match. I, I think it's... Match. I think it'll be better than people think. <laughs> Going up, Warrior Hogan. Then we're gonna hear we're gonna we're gonna hear Maribelalo over exaggerating his commentary in the background. Oh, oh my man, he tripped. <laughs> he tripped, my man. Like, Actually, you know, he won't be doing the commentary though. I think we got to cut it's it. It's a raw man. match. Yeah, it's a raw match. He won't be doing the commentary. So, oh, Mama yeah. Mia, he's out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Right. Wait. It, actually, my prediction is like they'll do, they'll go face to face, and right before they start wrestling, that you'll hear the nitro music. We gotta go. Yeah.